right, and you should be able to see us in here as we're ready to go. Sorry for the little delay, uh, but uh, we are Adventures Lollygagging, and we are continuing our Worlds Without Number game today. We left off on something of a cliffhanger. I was about to kill Long's character. I've decided I'm just going to flip-flop Long and Ashley because I'm stupid and I don't know how to use OBS, uh, but I'll fix that in a second when everyone starts to introduce themselves. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we are Adventures of the Gang. We play a bunch of different games on the channel. We usually play on Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Fridays is our Delta Green game. Saturdays is our Worlds Without Number game. And starting this Monday, uh, we're starting up our Chapter 3 of our Aliens, of the Alien RPG from Free League. Uh, we are uh, starting up Chapter 3. And uh, if you've never watched Alien before and on our channel, now is the perfect time to join in. Brand new crew, new stories, all fun stuff. So come check that out. Uh, and then, uh, and then I guess first week of August, we're going to be starting up Ultraviolet Grasslands as well. That's the next uh, game that we're going to be putting on the channel. Uh, so let's just introduce people. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump it over to Long since you're actually first in the screen while I fix your two faces. Who are you playing? What are you playing? Tell us a little bit about your character. Yeah, I'm playing Vice. He's a Crassicarian. He's pretty much a hairless humanoid. Bunch of bones jutting out of him. Also, a blood priest duelist. So, I'm a little crazy with the religious. Yeah, and you're you're like the healer kind of, right? Like, don't you have you just have? Yeah, I've got some healing powers. Yeah, not not spells because there's very specific classes in this game that actually have spells, but instead you have arts. Uh, so specific arts from your blood priest uh, profession or class that allow you to do this. So awesome. Uh, and uh, you're currently being chased by a, uh, a giant mutant with a glowing axe. Uh, so in the dark. So, fun times. <laughs> uh, then, uh, Ashley, you're next. Uh, I'm playing Octavia. She's our warrior skin shifter. Um, she is currently shifted into her super goaty form. Mm -hmm. um, which that is just an absolute delight. I imagine she's just like drooly and just nasty and kind of like a dog where you can point and say fetch and go and she will go for it, especially for Sanenka. Um, what else about Octavia? Yeah, she's just, she's my, my dumb soak. I'm here to take hits and do hits. And Wait, what? Yeah. Take hits or take hits or what? You know, I will leave that up to people to decide. <laughs> oh, wow. Because so, I do have, I believe, some form of drug that I was given. You're doing. Uh, the blood of boiling rage. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So... You guys heard it here first. <laughs> Ashley's doing hits for bits. Hits for bits, everybody. Oh, God. Wait, I think that's against the TOS. I think that's against the TOS. Uh... <laughs> I like the nicknames that you have because you've been Octavia because of your awkwardness, and now you're Baytavia. Because you're bait. bait. I, I, I do tend to be the bait. Mm -hmm. I did get <laughs> attacked by a giant fucking fish. <laughs> bait Tavia. Oh, yeah. I, I remember that. The char Charcolodon. Yeah. And that somehow almost killed Melissa. I don't know how that happened. Mm -hmm. Ashley picks the fight. And then Sonica is. Really I picked dies. friendship. I yeah. didn't pick to fight. Okay. Uh, and then speaking of Melissa, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, so I am Sonenka. I am a Sidawan. Uh Carter actually is my background. Um, she is a vowed Beastmaster. Um, probably does a bit more on the vowed than the Beastmaster. At some point, she'll develop a companion. And when we get back, she'll work on some more uh, training of our little pets that we have. That's true. Do you remember what they're Could called? Could have gotten a on. The Vitru, those uh, weird uh, bird creatures that you found in the waste districts. That wear dead bodies. Yeah, the the mama or the dada, mm -hmm. they just load themselves up with dead bodies. They just carry them around and they feed the them. The mamas and the papas. Yeah, mamas and papas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then finally, we've got Logan. Hi, um, I'm Logan. I'm playing a kind of like alien dock worker, uh, down on his luck thug <laughs> named Burdock. And um, yeah, that's it. That's That's what we're doing. Yeah, perfect. And uh, which transitions pretty well into a quick summary of where we're at. Uh, so the basic premise of our world is that this is a this is kind of a refuge planet uh, that several different alien species have have 
taken up residence on uh, uh, unwillingly. Like they just were, were here for a variety of different reasons uh, that we don't really dive into too much. But uh, but basically, they're here and uh, they're currently living within the husk, the dead husk of a, a giant ancient mega, uh, mega city. Uh, and uh, yeah, and so they periodically go and leave that those those districts, the actual city itself and more recently they've they've left it and they've gone out to the east and we're doing a job uh to try to make a trade deal happen with some jellyfish people uh that were in a lake a toxic lake nearby uh burdock is relatively new to the party is this is his first job with them he was uh the guy who gave the person who gave the the party the the job brought burdock on and uh, all four of them have been doing this now the you guys have all been gone for a couple days from the city. It's not like, it's not an incredibly distant crawl, but you've it's, you've nonetheless have left the the safety of Big Husk and the kind of murky safety of the waste districts and are almost in the wild basically. Uh, and it had a couple close calls on your crawl where you had like a kind of a really tense moment with some other salvagers, and then you also came across these tall buildings where people were just getting thrown out of the windows and there was some crazy like apocalypse gang that was like sounding horns and chasing you, but you guys got away. Uh, and then you made it to the lake and you found uh, like your, your chief rival. Like, so if you guys are working for Ruvala, you know that your, your chief rival is Martine. Like that's the other kind of major trade player here. And you found all of their envoys killed by a bunch of radio, radiocratic, derelicts mutants from the sultan states of radiocracy who for some reason are at the at the lake you uh you dispatch them uh and you had a little bit of a conversation with some nindarians who uh, agreed to trade with you all agreed to cut, set up a regular trade deal if you would help them get rid of the rest of these derelicts that were on the eastern shores of the lake you agreed to that so you traveled eastward uh, to the other side of the lake. Saw some weird stuff along the way. Saw a couple buildings that were in enca- that were like sunken and encased in like this greenish amber resin. Uh, you also saw, surprisingly, a very verdant forest up on a, a ridge line of what is known to be a very volcanic active, uh, volcanically active area. Uh, but you you stayed focused. And during the night, you found the camp where these radiocratic derelicts were. They had this big old effectively an 18 wheeler oil tanker thing and um and there you sprung a trap uh you actually built a couple <laughs> traps took a few people out in a very violent horrible fashion <laughs> vice and burdock uh went on a little secret mission snuck down towards the tanker uh, burdock climbed into this this little compartment in the tanker while vice distracted like the big boss man and is now luring the big boss man back up the ridge to where both Octavia and Sonenka are waiting. And so we're actually going to start in combat. Uh, so let's hopefully you all remember how to play. I don't, but uh, hopefully you do. And uh, we'll get going. So let's get it started. I don't have like a like a combat map, but I just have like the basic map on the screen that you can kind of see where we're, where we're at relative to the hex. But let's go ahead and begin combat. Uh-oh, someone's... Sorry. Okay. I was getting some messages. Uh, all right. So just rolled up some initiative and let's get some music going. And so just to, again, restate the the scene, we've got kind of a ridge line. It's nighttime, by the way. We've got a ridge line on which Octavia and Sonica have just dispatched a couple of these derelicts, these mutants. Vice is running up the ridge line, trying to meet back up with Octavian Senenka, while behind him he's being chased by a very tall, like eight foot tall, big boss man type of creature with a glowing blue axe uh, who is chasing down Vice. Then further down that ridge to like the more water level area on the shore of the lake, there is a lengthy 18-wheeler, basically, uh, with a big old water tank, and there is almost like a like a tank capsule on top. And Burdock has just leapt inside of it because there was somebody moving around. Further up the, the shore, about 100 yards, we'll say, there was a small, like, fire 
kind of fire brewing over there where like a couple additional derelicts are kind of camping out that will st- will check every round whether they've been alerted. And so basically every round I'm going to roll a check to see if they have been alerted to what's going on. And that's where we're going to go. Any questions on that? Nope. All right. Let's begin. So I've got the... Uh, all right. So you guys have a plus one to your initiative. Uh, so because of, because of Octavia... Uh, so you guys do actually get to go first. So um, so right now, Vice, again, you're being chased by the big guy. You're not quite up the ridge. Octavian Seneca, you're at the top of the ridge. Burdock, you're inside the tank. In the fight cage. You're yeah. in the, exactly. <laughs> so who wants to go first? You go in any order you want. I'm just going to continue running as best I can up this ridge. Okay. So one movement will take you up to the top of the ridge, and you'll you'll be able to see Octavia and Seneca at this point. Uh, you still have an action if you wanted to do something else. No, I'll just be ready here. Okay. All right. So you'll just, like, group up with Octavia and Seneca. Is that, is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. All right. Rest of you can go. Um, I was thinking if uh, this would be something we could do if, like, because we have the rope, right? I was wondering if we could lay it lax on the ground and have Vice run past it and try and get that guy to continue chasing him. And Senenka and I can pull it taut when he's uh, to try and trip him okay. when he's finally within range. Okay. If that's something... Well, Vice has run past at this point. He's taken his turn. But you and Octavia could certainly pull the rope because he's the guy still seems to be chasing up after you. I'll give yeah. him I'll give him basically kind of an awareness test when he comes up to see if he can notice you guys. But yeah, if, if he doesn't, we'll say he could potentially trip and fall prone. Okay, cool. Okay. So yeah, that'll be both of us then. We'll do a move okay. action to get the rope situated. All right, so both of you then will take up position behind as best you can some rocks why don't i have you guys both go roll stealth tests of some kind to try to see how well you keep yourselves obscured any kind of any kind of stealthy like skill combination it could be dex plus uh uh, plus sneak it could be okay got 11 okay all right i'll keep that in mind all right, uh, and then finally, Burdock. You're the yeah, last what to does go. Burdock see uh, once he drops into the you cab? You drop into the cab. You see another one of these derelict mutant creatures, except this one has like some kind of wires coming out of its head, and it seems to have these lenses kind of covering up its eyes, like little... And it's got this long, like, metallic cannon in its arms that it's starting to lift up and put into what looks like a slot inside of like this uh this compartment you're in like a sniper that's really really to shoot like a cannon out of this window okay as you, as you leap in uh and the, uh am i detected as far as i can tell or? uh i think i think they they will notice when you hop in uh, so yeah, once you yeah so i'm assuming like I'll, I'll give you the i'll give you the Maybe you haven't hopped in yet. Maybe you're right on the edge. But your stealth roll is high enough that they hadn't seen you coming. But once you hop in, yeah, yeah the, the jig is up. Okay. I think Burdock would probably drop in and then just, like, bull rush the guy and try to, like, either get a hold of the gun or, like, you said it's, like, going through a slot kind of. Yeah. So imagine, it. imagine like, a bunker, uh, yeah. like, like a military bunker. It's that type of thing where they're, like, putting it up into that slot as if yeah. they're, they're going to shoot to whatever's attacking does it look like if Burdock rammed his shoulder into the butt of the gun that it would be able to pop through the slot and like out on the ground outside of the cab? Is that what or you it, specifically want to do? I think so. Like, unless the slot's too... I'm just trying to see if it's feasible. If the slot's too small... Oh, no. It's feasible. Then, yeah, it's feasible. Ooh, I'll, I'll say... I mean, like, this looks like it's it's sort of a, a kind of a precise thing that you're trying to do. So okay. I, I would actually probably want Dex with this. Uh, as opposed to strength, it's more about like aiming your yeah. t- your your slam properly, and is about like just pure strength. Okay. And then you can pick whatever skill you think makes sense. All right. Um, so, stab, punch, 
exert. Probably, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, punch kind of works, but yep. exert could be too. I'm going to go with exert. Why not? Yeah, that's fine. Um, just, said, just make it with dex because it's dex. more about precision. Ooh. So yeah, he charges it and he tries to slam into it. Like he's like dropping his shoulder and ramming it into the butt. Let's see what happens. Yeah, with a six, I feel like that'll knock it out of his hands, but mm. it'll probably knock it to the ground. Not, not it won't probably won't knock it out of the bunker. It'll probably just drop it to the in, into the bunker. But yeah, you've I'll say you've effectively because it's a surprise. You just hop down and immediately try to, and it fumbles and it kind of clanks around and it falls. Onto uh, onto the ground of this particular place. Okay, so the Ooh, next that was successful. Yeah, so I think I think it's it's not a perfect success, but it's a modest success. Uh, okay, so next up is going to be the the ones that are are aware. So there's two now. So it's going to be the big guy that was been chasing Vice and the one that's inside. The one inside, uh, seeing is inside of the the tanker is now going to it's going to turn on Burdock. Uh, but because you just knocked their, because you just knocked their, uh, what's it called, their gun, their hurlant out of their hands, they're gonna have to figure out something else that they want to do. Um, yeah, they have right on their belt. It looks like they have just a kind of a, a basic knife. Nothing, you know, it doesn't look like anything too uh, too fancy. Uh, so they're just gonna turn around and swing that at you. I think. Uh, sorry, I gotta drop it off. Pirate has a good roll too. Damn it! All right, I'll do it again. <laughs> I rolled a nineteen. Oh, it's an even better roll. Oh my god! Uh, yes. Hits AC twenty one, <laughs> <laughs> which should hit you. Yeah. Uh, and then I only did. Looks like one. Hang on, I'm not sure if I should have a. How much a... is the shock? No, there's no. There's there's. there's there shouldn't be shock for this. Hang on one second. Burdock has close combat as well. Yeah. So, yeah. One point of damage. It's just one. Yeah. That's cool. all you're taking. All right. Okay. So yeah, they turn around and they manage to like, uh, they manage to cut you uh, as you hop in. You're focusing more on knocking the gun out of their hands. And so you leave yourself open a little bit and they just take the dagger and they just like slash it across your forearm. It's not a terrible hit, but there's, okay. it stings. All right. Meanwhile, over by the ridge, uh, the big one's going to come charging up. And I'm going to go ahead and make that awareness test. Uh, is this just going to, I'm just contesting his awareness against your, uh, your stealths. Sure. So this is the radiocratic super, is what I called it. Uh, where's the skill button? There we go. Okay. Oh. With a 10, uh, doesn't see Octavia, but does see Senenka. Maybe I was the one that like ran across. Yeah. So like you're like Octavia crouches down. You grab the other end of the rope and you run it to the other side of the rock. But before you're able to immediately crouch down behind that rock, it notices you and just comes charging at Senenka at this point. Uh, so, uh, and you can see this. Big, big old axe, and it's going to go ahead and it will take a swing at Sunenka then. Hits AC 23. Uh, yeah. I think that's good. Uh, <laughs> it's shock. I don't, I've been noticing there's a slight bug lately. The shock damage hasn't been showing up. The shock on the shock on this weapon is three. So it's going to do three damage to you because three is higher than the two that I rolled. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, so three points of damage is it and just slashes down into you like you kind of slam yourself against the rock that you're hiding behind and it still manages to just barely clip you. Then we'll move over to the ones that haven't been alerted yet. And so I'm just gonna roll one notice test and each round, that I'm going to roll these, it's the, the difficulty is going to get easier. So I'm going to start at a 10. And if, if they fail, the next round will be eight. And if they fail, the next round will be six. It'll kind of continue okay. to get easier. So eventually. So that's 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 what I came up with. So first one is this. 10. So they would need to roll a 10 on this to be able to notice what's, what's going down. They rolled an eight. They're not in the fight yet. Comes back around to you guys. Uh, Burdock, you're 
one v one in, and the rest of you are mm. within a single movement of the big bad. Any order you like. Uh, I'm gonna hit him. Okay, so you're gonna because because yeah. he's gone past the point where I can't draw it to trip him, right? Yeah, because Sonika's stealth test was so low, he kind of the, the 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 game was up. He, he, he saw right over it. Yeah, <laughs> and I, nice. if memory serves, Sonika was the one who had the light out too. Like had one of the because they remember they had like those angle angle angler fish type lanterns, and I think Sonika grabbed one or something oh, like that. Oh, did you? Something like that. Uh, oh, but right. do you want to charge or do you just want to attack? Because you're at a distance. So if you want, to, if you want to charge, you probably can pull a charge off here. Yeah, because if I charge, you get a bonus. Uh, yeah, I do. It gets me a plus three to mm -hmm. hit. Normally, it would be a plus two, but because yeah. it's your it's your your species bonus. Sounds good to me. Because you're a goat. Not the uh, so goat. So I just roll a, a d20 for this one, right? Uh, so what are you trying to do? Say so it again? So I'm just charging, mm -hmm. but I want to use my... Where is it? Oh, that's not what I'm thinking of. So charge is what you're doing. You can take a wild charge before hurling a weapon or crashing into a foe. You move up to twice your normal move in a straight line, which you can do, uh, before making a melee or thrown attack. Normally at plus two, but you get plus three because of yeah. your, again, your, your species. You have to move at least 10 feet, which you are, yep. and you suffer a minus two AC penalty for the rest of the round. This does consume both your move and main. So this is the only thing you can do in your turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Roll, your, roll your melee attack with a plus three to hit. Okie dokie. <laughs> Goats also get a special three. species bonus to chew anything. Agreed. I've tried to convince convince Melissa that we should get goats and just use goats <laughs> for lawn care, lawn. but apparently just rent them out to your neighbors. Well, I've talked to, we've talked about this at work with some other some other faculty. We've had like you know what we should do a goat share where we all just share <laughs> a couple goats and we just rotate them around. Uh, how'd you do? Uh, twenty five. Does that hit? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, I do seven damage. Nice. Whoa, seven damage. Oh, I didn't even roll this guy's HP. Ah, there it is. Uh, seven damage. Seven what a coincidence. He also had seven <laughs> HP. Uh, okay, yeah. That is a just brutal slash as you come up. <laughs> didn't see you. And you just yeah. hurl yourself into them. It, what do you have? Like an axe? What's, what's your weapon? I have using? a short sword. So, so you're I short imagine sword. I just kind of like run up and I'm in my big old goat form. Mm -hmm. And so as I'm charging it, which doesn't make sense how he didn't see me earlier because I am fucking huge. Yeah. But I, I am crazy, but I am free. And I just like stab him in the shoulder and I just rip it down. You just, and you see like these flecks of like some kind of weird rusted metal just fall off as you rip through parts of his like, you know, his hodgepodge armor yeah. that they're wearing. Because isn't it like in his skin? It's almost like his hide. Yeah. Like they've upgraded it's it. It's very much like, yeah. like Resident Evil 3. Like it's kind of that oh, thing going on dope. here. Uh, okay, uh, so I'll go next. Go for it. Because um, I'm right there, so I'm gonna look for that little kind of chink in the armor that she created, um, and then I'm gonna do an unarmed attack. Because remember, my punches <laughs> are magic. Sure. Um, that didn't seem very magical. Yeah. So <laughs> you, uh, you're kind of. You're like th this this imposing creature has you almost like pinned against this rock that you were trying to hide behind. Octavia manages to distract it ever so ever so briefly as grrr, it turns around and looks at her right as you kind of try to throw your fist and yet you, you land but you hit like a very armored area and so it just kind of harmlessly brushes off uh and doesn't and he just continues to turn to face Octavia. Uh Vice you're still in the area. You're there yeah, I'm too. Gonna charge along with Octavia here. Okay. A little bone short sword. Okay. Gonna. Never mind. I'm not gonna make that joke. Go ahead. What? what? Nothing. Uh, does it 17? 17 does in fact hit. Holy crap! You all are rolling great for damage. It's seven damage. Uh, he's still up. <laughs> kind of looking around. Uh, and then Burdock, it is your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said this guy pulled a knife and slashed at Burdock? Pulled a knife and slashed at you. Hit you. Yeah, but... yeah. 
Not the most painful <laughs> yeah. thing in the world. Yeah, Burdock is like, <laughs> uh, why don't you fight fair, you coward? And I'm going to try to like, I don't know, I guess I can't punch the knife out of his hand, but um, maybe I can like, I guess I'm just going to grab him in a bear hook and try to like squeeze him and hurt him. You're going to grab him? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just going to crush him. So it's contested uh, strength punch rolls. Uh, so All go right. ahead and roll your strength punch. Yeah. The thinking is like, and I roll, roll you mine. know, Burdock is like a close quarters fighter. Oh, yeah. I got that, that foci thing. So if a guy's got a knife, you want to get him in close and yeah. keep his hand from moving. So. This is very much close quarters, too. Like, you're cramped. Like, this, this guy's like a sniper, and he just, like, jumped yeah. in his part. Okay. You're like, I'm going to stab gonna... you with your own shit. Yeah, well, that's my next move if I can get it. Yes. But, yeah, I'm going to hold him hold him tight and close like a lever. Pull him in to a warm embrace. Uh, okay, so <laughs> it's I, have to be, I have to beat a nine. That's a fail. Uh, so you do, in fact, manage to... And you hear, like, the crack of the back as you squeeze. And he just... And this, like, greenish sludge begins to pour out of their mouth. Kind of flickering onto your face as you do so. Uh, okay. So let me pull up one thing to help you out. Not in, uncommon in this type of situation. <laughs> Not pleasant, but, you know. So with grapples, we did our strength punch. So if the attacker wins, which you did, the defender is grappled and remains that way until released or until I spend a main action and succeed on a new opposed check. So on, on his turn, we could, we'll do it yeah. again, basically, if he wants to get out of the way. Otherwise, yeah. an attacker can – you can only grapple one at a time. Um, while grappling, neither attacker or defender can move from their current location – nor can they fight with anything but unarmed attacks. And at the end of each round in which a defender remains grappled, uh, they uh, they suffer damage for each attack as if hit with an unarmed attack. So if I don't break the grapple on my next turn, I will automatically suffer damage at the end of my turn as if you unarmed attack them. Oh, yeah. So like like cinematically, it's like they're wrestling yeah. and like punching at each other and like holding each other's arms and, and this, stuff, right? this is a very slender looking one, by the way, almost almost mm. geekly in the like these weird glasses, these lenses that are like pulling out of the sides yeah. of their heads and over top of their eyes. You don't actually, you don't even really see eyes. You just see these lenses, right? Yeah. So then it's going to be his turn. I'll go ahead since I have him up. I'll go ahead and roll to break the grapple. Uh, so I'll try again. So roll another strength punch. Okay. So you'll try to break free. <laughs> he just not. Punch. Well, that was close. Uh, but you still managed to win uh, with a six to his five. Uh, go ahead and roll your unarmed uh, your unarmed damage. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it just, it's like neck and neck here. <laughs> it's like... Okay, three points. Yeah, okay. I think like like Burdock's gonna like hold him tight with one arm, and then he just grabs his like face in his other big hand because Burdock has these huge like yeah. lumpy hands. So he's just gonna like press the lens into his eye, like try to break it his thumb. Like, and they're screaming. They're like, ah, ah, yeah. you know, as best <laughs> they can as you're trying to cover the mouth up. Okay, so then uh, with the rest of y'all. The big fella. You happy? I'm scared. <laughs> well, this is the first time I got to use this. Ooh, fancy. So an on-turn action. I'm trying to remember. I wrote this up a couple weeks ago, so I don't remember everything. But an on-turn action is uh, is basically it's sort of like a free action. There's something simple and easy that someone can do on their turn, right? So it could uh -huh. be like readying an object, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So as an on-turn action. You're gonna see this this who's this slightly glowing blue axe. They just <laughs> you see them kind of twist a little bit, and you hear a, like gears kind of grinding as there's something going on, and suddenly a burst of like light blue energy just erupts from it, and uh, all of you uh, will take two points of damage uh, as you oh. feel like this wave of nausea just sort of oh god just sort of come over you then uh as its turn as its action we'll turn to octavia actually i'm gonna 50 feet 50 50 it no yeah i will 50 50 because both vice and octavia did 
an equal amount of we damage. Did damage. So I'll say one to three Octavia. Twinsies. One to three Octavia, four to six Vice. It's going to be Octavia, which you have that AC penalty from charging too. So as you're sort of stumbling and regaining your uh, your your position, this now glowing blue axe, they're going to turn around to you and they're just going to try to baseball swing your head off. Oh, oh. So. Oh, that is a straight up miss uh, with a five or a two. And even with your AC penalty, that is nowhere close to you. However, it does have shock damage of three against an AC of 15. So what's, what's your AC with the penalty? 14. Okay, so then you will. I, I have close or no, that's I don't have level two close to combatant. Okay. Um, no, that's level one. I, uh, da, 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 da. you ignore shock damage from melee assailants, even if you're unarmed at the time, but invoking this benefit disrupts any spell casting. I might do that okay. round. Perfect. We yeah. both have that. That's cool. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So they swing at you and, and you manage to get like inside the blade range and kind of brace against like the shaft of this massive ax. Mm -hmm. And like, you can kind of feel it slam and normally it might hurt, but like, you're pretty skilled at at being able to kind of kind of take the brunt of a of a blunt weapon like that, and so you're able to kind of shrug it off, uh, but you, it's like you closed in on on Darius's spin. Uh, then, oh, okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll a, a notice whiz for the the others to see if they have picked up on what's going on yet. This is going to be DC eight now. Oh no! As more yelling and screaming and weird stuffs happening, so DC eight. And with a nine, um, Burdock, out of the corner of your eye, you're busy, obviously, so you're not looking too much. I'll just say you can see that there's now movement over by that fire down the shore a little bit. They're not yeah. to you guys yet. They have to get here first, but they're on their way. They've been alerted that something's up. Back to the top of the round. You guys are up. What would you like to do? I'm just around here, so we'll just keep swinging at him. Yeah, go for it, man. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be ugly this time. Your AC, so you're, you have a, how much, it does four shock damage to AC 15, though. Oh, so does he have a lower than 15? He has AC 15, exactly. Oh. Okay. So while you slash in with the blade, like, you, and it manages to kind of, like kind of careen off of one of these plates built into uh built into the like the skin you take the like the pommel of it and just kind of get him right up the chin with it and his head just kind of flies backwards this this nasty like brown tooth just erupts out of his mouth uh and you do four points of shock damage so yeah you still got some work done there <laughs> spitting out this green like spit flies to the ground octavia and Sonica, you're both around me want to finish this up finish up this round yeah i want to hit him Eight damage. Uh, eight damage. Oh my! He is looking pretty beat up right now. As he's just spitting, you've got he's got blood coming down his face, coming across his chest where like the built-in plates are. You can see like his, he's spitting out his teeth, green sludge coming out of his mouth, and he's just sort of he's at that point where he's just kind of. Looks like he doesn't really have a lot of balance left. Sonica, you might be able to finish him off here. <laughs> oh, no. I should just you stop just... trying to punch things. Two shock <laughs> damage. Uh, two shock damage, unfortunately, <laughs> is is one less than what you needed to actually oh, down no. him. He's got one <laughs> health left. Uh, and then, Burdock, do you want to do your unarmed attack on him? Yeah. Yeah, go for it, man back door huh chuck it sounds like you actually my last uh attack do it do an attack oh uh, i'm sorry like let me punch it same thing you did last time buddy uh yeah you don't have to you don't have to do the contested you don't have to do the contested strength you just have to do an attack right, right. yeah but an ac8 is not good enough to do anything to him uh, but you still have him grappled, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, so, Nenka, you said that... Did we? Did I not account for your shock damage last time around? Yeah, because I thought I missed because I rolled a five last time as well. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, and plucks two shock so. damage to AC 15 or less. So yeah, this this little punch, like you're just kind of wailing away at his, you know, at, at this wound on his on his like in his chest, and you just and you just reach your hand in and just kind of dig and dig and dig until finally he just kind of flops to the ground. Like first he goes to his knees, and then one by one, each one of you just like stab or swing or freaking take an elbow or a knee. One by one, you're just like hacking him to pieces until he falls onto the ground. Sort of like thundering a little bit as he does. He's a big dude. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. I'm gonna take the axe. Uh, sh- on your turn. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, so Burdock, uh, he'll go ahead and attempt to do uh, to break it yeah. again. Did you say he didn't take that damage last time? What do you mean? Uh, like I rolled the one point. Did he take the, the one? You uh on no, before he did. Yeah, he took the one point before, okay. but. But on your most recent attack, you hit AC eight, which isn't enough to oh, break his AC. So I didn't. I have to hit his AC for the grapple still. No, for the unarmed attack, because the only thing while you're grappling oh, a target, okay. the only thing you can do is an unarmed attack, and so that was what oh. you're doing. It's like you got him in a headlock and you're punching him, but you just you you're not. Have to hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. those don't do shock damage, right? Uh, it doesn't doesn't appear yeah. that his do. Uh, Sonicas are magical and special, like so. There's something yes. to them. Uh, you need to beat a four with your strength punch to maintain the grapple. Okay. Which you do. <laughs> so go ahead and roll your unarmed attack damage for the free damage at the end of his turn as he just cannot break free, this little scrawny guy. Yeah, hopefully I'll just be able to slowly choke him out. Like, <gasps> I, didn't realize, <laughs> I didn't realize how low my unarmed damage was when I made a primarily unarmed fighter. <laughs> <laughs> You know what to do with your level up skill points. Yeah, okay. at least I have clarity of vision in that regard. So three damage there is good. As he... <laughs> so he is not looking great either. The other three are continuing to move up, but they don't get to the the the, the truck yet. Vice, Octavia, Sonica, Octavia, you pick up the axe, no problem. Um. What are the rest of what do you guys want to do? You guys don't see Burdock anywhere, but yeah, I'll let him know. I left Burdock back on the dock. I gotta go back for him. So I'll run back to where I okay. left him. Yeah, so you'll run back to the truck? Sure. Uh what about Senenka and Octavia? Can uh, we see these other combatants coming? Uh the giant truck in the way it kind of obscures it, but I'll say what well, I'll say this. Roland noticed Wiz test, and we'll make it DC 10 to see if you can see them having moved because it's slightly obscured from the angle you're at. Nope. Okay. Octavia so I will and follow, Vice. But I won't necessarily have anything ready. Octavia and Vice, you can do that too, by the way. That's just, the, oh, okay. just looking. It's fine. Oh, nope. Um, Octavia, never mind. She's still like heaving with her breath because she's still mad goat right now. Okay. I've got like instead of like whatever mad cow disease you know uh and so holding that axe thing um which i'm really excited to get the stats for that i want to go to the (laughs) hoses that are hanging out of the um that lead into the water and i want to use that to hack at them okay so you pick up the axe and then you run you can't get there and do that all in one turn but that's your intention yeah sure so you pick it up and you start running uh, Vice, did you want to do your no- the notice test to see what you see? Oh, the notice, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Notice whiz. It's fine. Let me pull up. Ten. You do, in fact, see that there are three that have now moved from their from like their little camp that's about 100 yards down the shore from the truck and are now running, sprinting. And they're, they're, almost, they're about halfway, a little bit more than halfway to the truck at this point. They'll probably be able to get there within another round or so. Um, oh, what is this truck? Where's this is, that? so this is what like you and, and Burdock were nearby. It's like, think of it like a giant 18 wheeler. Like there's something that they're like, it's like they're pumping the water out and filling up this, this tanker truck essentially with it. And on top of like the cab, there is this makeshift like tank compartment that uh, with your 10, I'll say you notice there's a scuffle going on inside. And the last you saw, Burdock was climbing up the truck. So you could probably conclude that he he jumped into there. Uh, all right. Let me get Ashley her new axe. Fancy. How's it rate in comparison to the, the walrus guys? 
I'm sorry, what was that question? I, I only. I said, how does it compare to the walrus guy that we met earlier? Who had uh, a uh, mine, it's glowing. <laughs> so this is a radioactive war axe. Uh, it's probably going to hurt me at the same time. It does. But <laughs> Jeff, I like it. It will. So so it's a it's a radioactive war axe. It's a big old axe. It's got it does one d ten damage. Has three shock against AC fifteen. Um, so even on a miss against AC fifteen or lower, you're still going to be doing three damage to it. And then it emits a constant. Uh, I, it says invisible, but I thought it would be cooler to give it like a little bit of a glow. Uh, a radiance of toxic power, and as an on turn action, the bearer can drop or restore the safeguards on the weapon. While unreleased, which is currently at, by the way, so all of you technically should get hit with that again. While unreleased, the weapon glows deep blue, and everyone within melee range of the bearer, including the bearer, because he hurt himself, takes 1d10 damage uh, at, at the end of the bearer's turn each round. So I think, Ashley, it's only fair oh, that you, you probably take that 1d10 damage as you oh. pick up and run with it, because you don't know what the hell this is yet. Yeah. Uh, unless it has some sort of shield against radioactivity. And you guys know that vaguely that these things you're fighting, they live and breathe radioactivity. Yeah. Yeah. We do know that when he spun it, we didn't feel good. Three points yeah. of damage to Octavia. I'll say Vice okay. and Sonica, you two run away before this thing kind of triggers. Octavia, you're running, running. You pick it up and you just run. And then at the end of it, you see like another one of those little pulses. And you're like, oh. Oh god. And that's probably when you realize maybe I'm like, let me let me twist. Do the twist. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. And so that's kind of how you piece it. We'll say that's how like thematically in that's the fiction you figure learns. out how it works. I like pause as I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Let me just throw These up guys really are quick. like little mini gods just sucking up the Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh all right. So uh it's back to you. So I'm trying to think. You guys looked around um you've re you've relocated the other ones have run a bit the one guy failed his attempt to break the grapple uh it's back up to your guys turn octavio you're hacking at these pipes okay uh just roll like a like a stab strength or something like that as you're hacking at this okay so you're like, wow. Now you can tell that these these things are like a mix of like rubber and they have plating on them, some sort of protective plating. And so you're you're hacking them with your new axe. You're like, ah, this thing's defective. And you throw it in the water and you run away. No, um, <laughs> it doesn't quite seem to cut through any of them, but you're starting to see little sp like little sprouts of water kind of erupt out of them. Uh, Vice and Sonenka, what do you usually want to do? You're down by the down by the the um, the truck. Let's see if I can meet up with the others that are converging on this truck as well. Okay, so you're going to run around the truck and just try to cut them off. Perfect. So you're... <laughs> Sonica, what do you want to do? Um, I would like to... Um, I'm going to assume that Vice said something out loud that yeah. there were people there. Um, so would, you, I wanna... would you have Vice? You're like, no, I'm just leaving. <laughs> Screw these people. Yeah, yeah there's more of them. Of course you would, yeah. Um, so I want to actually um, ready my bow. Okay. So you're going to get that. You're going to get the, the range out. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Um, so, uh, Vice, would you have – you can see them coming to you. Would you have wanted to move up to the point like where – and like position yourself as if you're, like, you're ready as a, or do you just want to like run as fast as you can and get as far as you can? I don't want to get their attention, so they don't okay. want to, like jump into the bunker. Okay. So let's see how many of them peel off to you. So I'm just gonna roll a D3, and these are how many you lure to you, and the remainder will go towards the truck. Okay. All right. One of them comes towards you. All right. So one of them peels off. Dash, and it's just almost like kind of this like weird gallop a little bit as they're kind of coming and you can see that they have like in their mouth, this long like blade. They just like, they pull out and they're going to race over towards you and they're going to take a swing uh, at you. Let me see where I put them. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. So they're going to take a swing. Uh, AC 11, no good. 
Uh, what's your AC? It's 13, I believe. Okay, so the shock will go through, and the shock is two points of damage. All right. So they come racing in at you, and they try to take this heavy swing, but you manage to deflect it with your bone blade just enough. Uh, but they like kind of lay a shoulder into you with their non-swinging arm, and that just kind of makes you stumble, and you lose your breath ever so slightly, but you're able to ready yourself. The other two are going to charge after the uh the truck and they're going to get up like right to the base of the truck but that's all they can do this this round um so let's see i actually jumped ahead i'm sorry that'll that'll still happen with vice but like uh burdock you still have a turn inside the truck my bad yeah yeah no worries um so okay it seemed like and correct me if i'm wrong it's better for me to just wait it out because then they take automatic damage as opposed to me trying to punch them and then I have to roll, right? The automatic damage is free. All oh, you, it come, that's on top of That's free, yeah. Action. Yeah, that, uh, there's oh, no reason yeah. not to attack. It doesn't penalize okay. you or anything like that, yeah. All right. I thought it was one or the other for some reason. Mm -mm. Okay, that's question one. Question two. We're in the cab of this truck. Mm -hmm. Is the truck running? The truck is not running, but you do – like like. The, the engine of the truck isn't running, but there is something running. There's like pumps that are running that are pumping stuff in, but no, the truck isn't okay. running. So it doesn't look like I can just like swat like a stick shift and make us Oh, I'm sorry. I should clarify. You're above like the driving portion. Like you're oh, like okay. in like a like a cat's nest or something. No, that's not okay. right. Crow's nest. That's yeah. the, not a cat's nest. Cats don't okay. have nests. For some reason, I thought we were like in the driving portion. Mm. I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna punch it in the reverse or something. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. This thing, he, uh, you, can, you can tell it, they're, they're gasping for air. They're on their last legs for sure. Okay, cool. So, yeah, Burdock's like, looks like we're going to have some company soon. I got to make this quick. And uh, I'm just going to try to, like, ram his head into the wall. Beautiful. Roll your unarmed attack. Yeah, let's do it. The attack, not the strength test. I'll get it one of these days. <laughs> the strength punch <laughs> is for maintaining the grapple yeah. on his turn, and yeah. <laughs> that is just enough. Three damage is exactly the amount of health he had left. So you just take the, you take his head, and you just smash it into one of the walls. You hear the the, the breaking of his lenses, like these these layered lenses that they had on to look, and his head just kind of caves in a little bit. You hear it crunch. And you just let go, and he just slithers down the wall and drops onto the ground. If I have an action left, can I um, like pick up either the knife or the gun and tuck the knife? And yeah, that's fine. You can do that. It's like an on okay. turn. You can pick those up. No big deal. All right, sweet. Okay. Um, Ashley, are you just still hacking away? I think that was your that was your action, yes. right? Yep. So Nenka, you ready again. you ready to weapon. Mm -hmm. So then it would go to my guy's turn, and now the thing that I did against Vice would re resolve, and then the other two would move up to the truck. Then we move back around into your guy's turn again. So we're we're now we're good to I go. Wanna hit it more, Jeff. Go for it. Uh you wanted another stab. Yeah. Seven. You're just hacking away. Should I stab or should I use the weapon? Uh, that's a fair. That's a fair point. Uh, I think strength stab makes more sense though, because it's more okay. of a. Because uh, you're not going against an AC necessarily. I'm just trying to see like the viciousness with which it erupts. Gotcha. And like you're getting into it, but it's like these tiny little, little cuts. Like whatever, whatever kind of paneling they have on this thing is pretty sturdy. Um, but you do see water starting to flip, you know, it's starting to spray and spray and spray. You're making progress basically. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, vice, you're right next to a guy. Yeah. Deflecting his swing. My blade will pretty much slide along it and swipe him across the face. Beautiful. Do it. AC 14 with a 20. 20. Oh yeah. Uh, five damage. Five damage. And you just kind of, you, you get a nice cut right across the face. Like his lip kind of starts to hang off a little bit as there's this now huge gash along the side. <laughs> uh, and uh, they appear a little shocked, but not dead yet. Uh, Burdock and Sonenka. Sonenka, you had a, you had a, your bow ready. Yeah. So who do I see? You've got two people that looked at like they're getting ready to, to crawl or climb up the truck to try to, close in on where burdock is one of them is fighting vice uh, down by the shore i'll take the one that's climbing so that i'm not shooting into a melee sounds good go for it ac 14 18 that will hit okay and so you you 
and you, one of them you just kind of get it right as it's right as it's kind of doing its first step you just get an arrow like right underneath the shoulder and they're like Arr! as they stumble a little bit they look around to see where it came from uh burdock uh what do you want to do yeah has anybody like come into range have they come into the cab yet uh, no one's in the cab yet. Looks like there's two. Yeah. You can look down. You can see they're getting ready to climb up. And then you can see oh, okay. Vice is tangling with one uh, about like 30 okay. feet away or so. All right. So, yeah, maybe maybe I could try to take a shot at the guy. You said, I probably can't get a good angle on the guys climbing up because they're right under me, I'm guessing. So I'll try to shoot. Uh, I could give guys. him. I'll give him like cover probably, I'll say. Nah, I'll shoot the Vice guy. Okay. Uh, at me. Yeah, you're just gonna shoot it, shoot it. Not shoot at <laughs> I, I saw how he animated that guy's face, and I don't want any of that. All so. right, let me let me put the weapon in your inventory oh, okay. so you can use it proper. So roll sheet first, right, and then see. I will say with these things, it's basically like you get one shot, and then it's gonna it takes rounds to reload. So it's like okay. this cool. is like your one thing, and then you draw. It's like the kind of thing where you take one shot and then you charge in with melee. Yeah, I'm actually into that because if they had made it into the the bunker thing i was just gonna break it over them like a club anyway so yeah it's not in very good condition but uh okay something could so potentially they... happen whenever you shoot it so yeah yeah all right let's shoot it up and see what happens and that's gonna be uh, shoot it up <laughs> shoot it up it'll probably be dex right Basically. uh yeah i would say dex uh dex shoot probably makes the most sense here yeah all right. ac 14 still Oh, I mean just the roll. Sorry, yeah, that's why I put the damn weapon in this thing and everything. I'm I'm stupid now too. Just roll the weapon. Oh, okay. It should be in your inventory now. Just click that guy. All right. Cuz that'll roll damage and everything like that with it. Okay. <laughs> so like Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a not it's not a natural one. On a natural one, the gun explodes. So, like oh, this, this damn. thing explodes. Luckily, you rolled a three, so it's not a natural one. Uh, so, all of you hear like this really loud boom just coming from the cab. Vice, you look off to your left, like maybe ten feet away, as there's an explosion in the water where like whatever shell he just sh shot out of this this cannon just blew up in the water, and it was kind of a deafening uh, deafening sound. But nonetheless, no one's hurt by it. No harm, no I foul. Have a and it hit two. the thing in the water. Burdock's like, this is why I hate these damn things. <laughs> well, he probably's got minus one for. Let me take a look. I have here. a minus she... one. Yeah. Why does it say minus two though? You should have a minus one because you don't have shoot. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. what's your? And then you're doing dex, and your dex is is eight. Yeah. But even it's still, that's only a zero. That's weird. That calculation's not right. It should be you should have you should have only gotten a minus one. It's still a miss, but like Yeah, I mean it's still we'll keep an eye on that next time. Okay. All right. Everyone went. It's their turn. Vice, this thing's gonna turn around and it's gonna you're locked in a, a deathly mortal battle and it's going to try to jam its short sword. It's gonna try to give you the same scar that you gave it as it goes right for your your bony face. And it misses AC 15 on the shock, however. Mm -hmm. uh, so you manage to, again, parry the blade away, but it gets the flat of the blade up against your temple and you kind of shake it off a bit, but take two points of shock damage. Um, the one that you shot in the side, Sunenika, is going to change its priorities, uh, I think, and it's going to charge at you. Okay. Uh, so it's going to literally charge. So it's going to charge, and then it's going to attempt an attack with plus two, but it'll lower its AC uh, on its next turn. So it charges at you. And then with a plus two to hit, 20, uh, mm. four yep. points of damage. Ew. So it charges in, and it slashes through you. Um, and then the other one's going to try to climb up uh, into the into the cab uh, or into the the nest thing uh, and with an 11 it will do so and so you now have a new contender in your domain yay uh, danger dumb it is a your guy <laughs> yeah, it is your guy's turn octavia you just heard a massive explosion coming over from like the uh, the truck you look over you can see sonica now is fighting one and vice mm -hmm. down the shore is also fighting one would you like to continue to hit this pipe 
Yeah, because I know that if we can, if this is what's causing the things to suck up the um, Nindarians, once I get that to stop, they will come to assist. So, okay. I think it makes sense okay. that I would keep trying to stop this. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so then, Vice, do you want to continue with your battle? He's not yeah, looking great. Ten. Of blades going. Ten, you cut through one of these. And water erupts. Make a evasion save, or yeah, evasion save. Uh, Dex. Oh no. Just evasion. Oh, yeah, just just click the bad, save. Right? Yes, toxic water. <laughs> <laughs> this pale. sprays up into your face. You're kind of soaked and wet, and you just start to cough as you feel your face sizzle a little bit, and your eyes begin to water. And for the next. We're going to call it one round. So at the end of your next turn, you will no longer have the effect of effectively blindness as you lose your eyesight. Vice, go ahead. What would you like to do? I continue swiping this guy. So six damage on a 19 to hit. That is enough to kill him. So describe how you kill him. Yeah, just fending off his blows with the blade in his mouth. Actually, it falls out of his mouth, and I grab it and just swipe it across his head. Oh, nice. You just do the classic, like, Aria. You don't watch Game of Thrones, so yeah. you don't get it. <laughs> Everyone shouldn't have after what happened at the end. But anyway, uh, let's see. Burdock and Senenko. Either of you have an idea? Yeah, I don't have an enemy in front of me yet, right? Because they're not. No, they hopped in. Me. No, one of them hopped into Cap. Okay. Well, if you don't mind, then um, I think Burdock's just going to club him with a. The gun. He's just gonna like bash him with it. Uh, that sounds like a is it a punch? Uh, you're using the gun. Uh, yeah, yeah roll, just, roll what you want. It's kind of like a yeah, strength punch is fine. Strength uh, strength stab is fine. Okay. Yeah, he's just using like a blunt instrument. So. Mm-hmm. Got. It. Uh, roll, roll, roll like an unarmed attack, basically. Yeah, because that because skill tests, a skill test roll two d sixes and then attacks use d twenties, and so it's like a different calculation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And I'll say, go ahead and add like, you know, add an extra d four as you're using this this big pipe to smash it into his face. Okay. Um... All right, so five points of damage. And so they climb in. You just can smash it right in the face, right as it climbs in. All right. Soninka, one's right in front of you. What do you want to do? So I should have paid a little closer attention when Burdock was doing this. I want to basically try to grapple. Okay. With that Strength punch versus strength punch. So go ahead and sneeze. Oh my god, that's really good, Melissa. You just rolled two D. You just rolled two sixes. So two D sixes. Yes, I, I did. I can't win on that. So yeah, you grapple this person. No problem. Nice. All right. And then does that mean that I get to do the thing at the end? Uh, the grapple is your attack, and so then what the happens? They the they on their turn can either they have to choose. Do you do they spend their main action to try to break? The break the grapple, which means then you have to contest again, or they can just take an unarmed attack against you. It's one or the other. If they're still grappled at the end of their turn, however, you get free unarmed attack damage against them. Cool. Okay. So, so they will go ahead, and this time I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm just going to have them attack you instead. They're just going to punch you. So like you're, oh, that. and they're just going to like try to like jam their elbow into you instead uh, of trying to break it. Uh, 17 AC, so two points of damage to you. Damn it. But because they didn't try to break the grapple, you get a free unarmed damage against them. So go ahead and roll that. I can't uh, do too much of this. Yeah, maybe they noticed that you'd look all beat up. Okay, so six points of damage. What is with <gasps> these D20 rolls? Jeez. You don't, have to, you don't have to roll to hit. It's free damage. All I'm oh. looking at is the damage roll. Oh, six damage. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, just to, so they take an elbow and they just get you across the face and it's just like ugh, and then you she just in the headbutt. Butts. No, I was gonna say it was headbutt, but that that works too. You don't know it's dude. 
it's a knows? it's a mutant who knows Regardless, what this thing is it would hurt it's just a big I pile of trash <laughs> i know exactly it could be anything uh all right i'm surprised jeff's not like it's a tentacle <laughs> all right and so then the one inside the uh inside the the cab will go ahead and swing at burdock as well uh we'll swing out with this, this kind of rusty sword 22 ac I think that's good. That's a 19. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Six points of damage. Yikes. All right. I rolled a six on a D6. <laughs> I'm down to one point. You better oh, kill no. it on your... You better take it down on your next turn, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> withdrawal. Do the withdrawal. Thing. He's inside of a truck right now. Uh, <laughs> starting up a new round. Vice, you look around. Your yours, yours is dead. You see Sonica is in like a death grip of somebody. You don't... I mean, like, you maybe see Octavia, like, hacking away at the pipes or something like that. Burdock, like, you had seen one kind of crawl up into the cab, so you don't know exactly how he's faring inside. So, right. Vi so Vice, you're free to do something if you want. Yeah, I think I'll follow the one up the truck. Okay. Uh, I think I did um, – you could do, like, strength exert just to climb. Just to see if you get – like this is basically do you get all the way up and in on this turn or do you have to like do more movement next turn we'll say dc8 to do this fast yeah <laughs> you're like you're struggling to get up because it's in combat on your next turn you'll basically have to expend an action to thrust yourself into the cab um octavia you're continuing are you continuing to hack away you're blind so are you are you flailing about wildly um i think getting sprayed in the face would cause me to like take a moment okay all so right just, just a little me time a little mindfulness yep. recenter yourself a little bit a little breathing exercise into the nose yeah. off the mouth. okay you know all right uh sonenka you are in a death this is this is rough what do you want to do you can only do an unarmed attack if you choose to attack him yeah i will choose to do that okay and hope this does it okay go for it Seven damage. Uh, you rolled an AC, AC seven. You have to on your turn. You actually have to roll an attack. Son it's son of a gun. At the end of their turn, they get if they're still grappled, they take unarmed attack damage. Like however, I said, how do I keep rolling such shit on my? Defense? However, your two shock damage is actually enough to kill it. One health left. <laughs> oh yay! Yeah, so you manage to just like. <laughs> You're just like headbutting and headbutting and headbutting and you're getting really dizzy and eventually you pull your head back and you see that you've like caved their forehead in, like their their nose is all off to the side. You're not sure if they look like that before you fought them or after, but they look pretty terrible. And then you just kinda let go just and they crumple cave. to the ground. It's just like this concave. I saw that anime. I remember that one. That was a good one. Um and then Burdock inside the cab. Uh you're in a similar situation here, man. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just try to beat him to death with this gun. And, okay. Uh, hope that works out. So, yeah, I'll do another unarmed attack, you said. Just treat it like that. You can do whatever you want. You're not, you guys, you're not grappling him. So, like, you can use a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you're just using this as a blunt weapon, that's fine. Strength. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just ro roll, roll an unarmed attack, and then we'll, we'll deal okay. with it later. Okay. And then I'll... Uh, AC 13, however, is not enough to... to bypass yeah. the ac right. of it okay All right. Time it's to die. <laughs> their turn as they will swing a short sword at you uh they miss however with an ac 15 or less they will do two points of shock damage so i've got the close combatant thing so no shock damage oh okay awesome so yeah yeah, yeah. you take you don't take like the blade. You manage to just shift enough so it's more of the flat side of this like rusted, crappy short sword, and so it doesn't really harm you too much. It might leave a light bruise. Yeah. Stay alive. <laughs> That's the only one who's still up, actually. So uh, I only I'll... started with uh, eight hit points, I think. So. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can see, by the way, that the platform that is out there is like they're kind of trying to move themselves it's moving closer to shore as if it's coming <laughs> up to shore okay uh and you remember that there were a handful of them on there you didn't get a perfect count but there are a handful of, of them up there as well yep okay uh your guy's turn um is he attacked there's only one left alive and it's inside the like little yeah. tank compartment 
Yeah, I'll pretty much spend my turn just climbing up on top of this truck. Okay, you finish up and you just kind of you. I'll, I'll say you have to. I'll say roll another roll roll another test to see if you can kind of get in without burning your main action. Is basically what I'm doing here. Okay. And so if you can if you can hit DC eight, which you can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's a little it's kind of an awkward climb but you're now in here at least as another candidate to attack um and so i'll avenge me <laughs> we'll see how it goes uh Senenka, you've got blood running down your face you've got mutant blood running down your face what do you what would you like to do uh i want to go over to where octavia is and try to help her stab her uh continue I mean... damaging the thing so that we can get the Nindarians up. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you're going to st go start doing the same thing. Uh, thank you for those bits to old Twitch. Y'all got a reroll from uh, yeah. to old Twitch for So, at any point, you guys want to use it, it's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. You go up and uh, do the same thing. Just roll, kind of stab. Strength is fine. Because there there's, there's more than one cable, but you've gotten one. Yeah. And you're, you're hacking away at it. And like you see little sprouts of water coming up. Octavia, you can see, has like been rubbing her eyes. Like her eyes are burning. Like she just got maced. I prefer to magically punch this. I'm going to 50 50 to see which one it attacks inside the cab. One to three, it'll be Burdock. Uh, four to six, it'll be Vice. Uh, it's going to oh, be Burdock no. again as they're going to swing a short yes. sword once more at yeah. you. AC 15. I'm um, 16. Then it misses with an AC 15. <laughs> it swings away. You manage to just push the arm as it slams against one of the walls. And since you have close combat feet, you don't take the shock damage. That's a really good feat. Yeah, it's, <laughs> super good. Uh, it's a really good if feat. You can't, if you can't beat things to death with your bare hands, you should at least be tough. Or <laughs> art. What, is it an art or is it a focus? It's a focus. Focus, yeah. That's great. I knew feet wasn't the right word. Vice and Burdock, you want to finish this guy off? I'm going to try. Go for um, it. Take another swing at him. Unfortunately, not. Vice, he's distracted. Oh, this duel. Yeah. Get him from behind when I climb in. Ah, uh, only thirteen. Yeah, but you did four shock damage, which is just enough to kill them. Oh, jeez. Okay. As they don't really see you, and you kind of try to thrust your sword at them, and they just get lucky in terms of how they move. So you. You kind of lunge through with the sword. And even though like you miss with your lunge, as you're pulling it back, you just kind of cut them right across their belly. And like stuff just sort of pours down into the bottom of the of this cab. And you 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 all feel this like hot stench suddenly immerse uh, immersing all of you. It just oh, suddenly reeks in here. But they fall to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Redox like, I had him on the ropes. <laughs> Then, I knew you could handle yourself. Wow. He like puts his hand on the wall and he's just bleeding everywhere. Blood. <laughs> he's just like everywhere. Oh <laughs> this has been a funny <laughs> counter, man. I'm just in Ooh. awe. I like, look at this offering to the blood gods. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> you're going to nice. do it. You got to do it big, you know. Long's like, can I get a moment? Gets his book out, puts the guy's <laughs> hand in his own blood, smacks it in his <laughs> So. With the uh, with the immediate threat on the shore, out of the way, we'll we'll we'll, we'll kind of move over the next couple of steps. As you guys continue to hack away, maybe Vice and Burdock join, but you hack away, and eventually you cut through all the pipes. And as this thing, as this little ship is about like thirty yards away from shore, and they're like moving with like these big poles that they're like stabbing into the ground and pulling and stabbing into the ground and pulling. You can see there's probably about four or five of them that you can see. A couple, a couple of them have lanterns. And right when the pipes go off, you see like a disturbance in the water. And then tentacles just, you just like launch themselves out of the water. And you can see what looks like these little floating jellyfish patches as they just rip these mutants right off of their ship and yank them into the water as the Ndarians have arrived. Hell yeah! And you guys just see this, like this bubbly froth in the water, where all of them, all those mutants, have just been yanked in, and you're not sure exactly what happened. But a good thirty seconds goes by of that froth, and suddenly it's just a sudden calmness and a silence, and none of them move back up out of the surface. Congratulations, guys! You uh, you won that fight. Holy wow. crap! Okay. I uh, that was amazing. 
That was a nail biter. That was a hell of a Ooh. fight, too. That was a that long was so combat. Cool. Yeah. Normally, normally I'm not a huge fan of like really long combats. That was fun. <laughs> All right. Man, I'm hanging on. We got really uh, creative. Right. It's fun. It's always fun when you flavor some stuff up and you do some non-traditional things. Yeah, the traps were great last time. Yeah, that was so cool. Climbing into the Uh, oh man, (laughs) Bardock's gonna haul his carcass like ungracefully out of the cab and drop to the ground. (laughs) He's just gonna lay on his back (laughs) while he's stuck with like, yeah, (laughs) got him. (laughs) (laughs) As you guys are kind of getting your bearings, taking your breath. All of you are probably covered in something. Blood, some sort of sludge from these creatures, like the sizzling uh, droplets of water from the pipes exploding, whatever it might be, like picking little pieces of like brain matter and bone matter out of your hair and stuff, like correcting your jaws and spitting out like teeth that happened to fall out during the fight. Take a breather. You look around. Maybe you kind of rummage through the various items. You find little bits and pieces. A lot of it's not very good. Most of it's just like really run down, horrible swords. But if anybody wants a short sword, you're welcome to it. There is that long herlant that you can take. However, it's pretty poorly made. And if anyone were to use it, if you ever roll a one on it, it will explode. So if you roll a natural one, it will explode and it will hurt you significantly. But you're welcome to it. Uh, or maybe you could potentially get someone to repair it for you, or you could make it a small project of yourselves to repair it. But uh, but you can get a, a long hurl. I think Burdock has it as an inventory, so he is that. Octavia, you have the axe. I'll take a short sword and uh, offer up the hurl and be like, I don't I don't know how this thing works, man. I almost blew my damn head off with it. Someone else wants to take it. Uh, Sininka, so it's a ranged right. weapon, so it might be good for you if you're going ranged. Yeah, and I've got like a zero in craft, so... That's not horrible. Vice is your craft boy right there. Well, I also have a zero in craft. Isn't what do you have? Don't you have one? Don't you have a one in it, Vice? Oh, let me take a look. No, I have a zero as well. Oh. All right, never mind. Sorry. I take it back. You're not a craft boy. <laughs> He's a blood boy. <laughs> He's a blood boy. <laughs> so you're like, maybe you all at some point just sort of slouch down against the truck and you look up and you can see it's it's a translucent tank. Right, it's like this translucent tank, and you can see like there's there's the lake water in it, but you also see like all of these bodies of Nindarians inside of the tank, like ripped up to shreds, like they have been pulled through the pipes and ripped apart, and you can see like there's you can't tell exactly how many there are, but there's definitely quite a few in there, um, and after a little bit of time to settle in the water, you see emerging from the shore doing that classic like they first start showing up like at the the bubbly like nebulous center but eventually as they're moving along the water you see the tentacles begin to form and wrap into into legs and arms and they suddenly look vaguely bipedal as what looks like six nindarians start walking up towards you some of them are carrying what looks like these those whip like weapons that you saw them before that mm-hmm. they've kind of got like scattered around their bodies it's hard to really I, none of you are horribly familiar with Nindarians. these again jellyfish people they're very reclusive they don't really hang out too much simply because they have strange needs but they try as best they can to uh to communicate with that vibrating tentacle mouth of theirs but one of them comes up to you and speaks and and when they do they introduce themselves once again as soon done the one that you had conversed with uh, earlier and, and kind of came to the deal and they say you have honored your word and you have helped us protect ours and avenge those who have been taken and you can see like the head kind of just turns upwards not so much to look because there's no eyeballs on these things you're not even really sure how they see where you guys are it's like a radar thing, like a bat thing they kind of have. But they sort of nod towards the truck. Because you have honored your word, we will honor ours. Once a month, the first of each month, return to where we first met you. And we will have for you a cartful 
of the sediment in exchange for equal amounts of split eel and junkweed. And junkweed's just like seaweed from the, the junk water off to the west of uh, of uh, Big Hus. Split eel is just a an eel that literally reproduces by splitting in half. Should we come up with a new signaling system? It seemed like everyone knew the last one. Ah, yes. That is wise of you, Vice. Kind of like trying to get your word in, in wise in the same sentence is, is difficult for them, but they, uh, they nonetheless do it. Do you have a suggestion? Um, maybe a different color. They look at you. Color. Or what was the last time? Wasn't it like a smoke signal? Like yeah, a, it was. Wasn't it just like a fire? It was a. Oh, so it was, it was described as a fire, and you would sprinkle some like stuff in it to kind of change it in some way. And visually, it changes to blue, but like they're like color. They don't understand what you mean. It oh. is the the odor that has drawn us. Oh. Hmm. Would the odor uh, travel underwater? I guess it would have to. If we burn it above water, they smell it under. We have scouts hidden along the shore. And we have ways of communicating with our brethren quickly to keep dangers from getting too overwhelming for us. These derelicts happened to stumble across some of our scouts before they were able to get word to us or else this would never have gone as far as it had. Well, I ain't the brightest of fellows, but I heard that sound travels really well underwater. Maybe if we uh, we bang something underwater with a distinct Wonder. sound or rhythm. Or like if there's like a whistle or something where we can like blow it like a certain amount of times. And so a montage of one hour goes by of everyone throwing out ideas, <laughs> workshopping what's the best solution, and eventually you come up with a solution. It's a combination of smell, sight, sound, a little bit of everything. It's really complex. But Let's make agree. it complicated enough that only we understand it. Exactly. So he has to keep sending us. He can't just kill us now that he has this great trait. It's like a cone of Dun Duncanshire type thing going on. If yeah. anyone gets it, okay. Make it more complicated. So it's it's very late at night. It's like midnight-ish. You guys are on the eastern shores. They, uh, they, we must retreat into the waters. We have placed your cart and your animal within a small cave off the southern shore. We have given it food, pure water. No one will bother it. When you return, you will find it. And inside your cart, you will find an early portion as thanks for the help that you have provided us. And on the first of each month return, or someone you trust return, and we will fill a quota. Yeah, we're real sorry about your people. He kind of like gestures generally at the tank. It's a tragedy. Too bad we didn't get here sooner. Yes. Too bad. But you have helped protect the rest and the younglings that swim in the shallow waters. We thank you. Thank you for your help. Octavia now is fully just like intently staring at the water. Mm -hmm. Like she so wants to see a baby Nandarian. Would you recognize one? I don't like... I don't know. I don't know, but she's she's looking. no idea what they look like. I would say yeah. I would say no one has any idea what they look like. But hey, you've made you've made a contact and you've certainly 
they I'll think highly of you. Boyfriend one day. Oh jeez, here we go. So Ninka <laughs> will go. see um, Octavia trying to look, and will pass over the spyglass. Oh god. Oh no, see I feel that. like that's like too creepy. Like I'm, just, I'm trying not to. <laughs> be it's also super it's also very dark. It's also very dark. Yeah. Don't forget. Into water. Now you the want to sky. Be creepy, you just don't want anyone to know you're being creepy. I mean, the sky is lit up with multiple moons and other heavenly bodies. Like practical creepy. Strange, but um. But they, they depart and they leave you. Um, you have this this tanker truck here, um, but it's not something that could potentially be driven back the way you came. Like it's just too rock. It's too rocky of a path that you guys took. Plus, you had to cross a river. Um, but if you if you wanted to, you could probably spend a day breaking it down for scrap and stuff to sell. Uh, oh yeah, you could I easily can. do that. Um, but it would take a whole extra day if you wanted to do that. So, but it, it, it's could, still very late. Maybe we could bury it and then put like a marker or something so we could send clues to come get it or something. Um, probably, it's probably too big. It's up to you guys. So we'll say you camp at the very yeah. least because it's very late. We do. Um, yeah. Okay. So you camp out here. Make up. You make your. You make your own little. Make your own little fire. Does Go ahead. This give healing. Uh, and Burdock's like, oh my God, it's been man, so those long. guys are, it's too bad those Dandarians came. I was about to finish off the rest of them, you know, just in there. <laughs> just pow, pow. What about yeah, healing? So there is natural healing. A wounded creature recovers its level or hit dice in lost hit points after every night's rest, assuming yeah. you're properly fed and sheltered, which I'll say you could easily do that here. And you also lose one point of accumulated system strain. Frail creatures, none of you are frail currently, do not recover hit points or lose system strain from rest. And don't forget, you could have also done first aid immediately afterwards if you wanted to. Yeah, healing. Can heal people up as well. Yeah, so if you you can, so if a healer spends a few minutes tending to an ally, a healer can cure 1d6 plus your heal skill and points of damage. There's no test for this. So if you just want to roll that to see how much you would heal everybody, we'll just do one roll for everybody, make it simple. 1d6 plus your heal skill vice and that's how ever how much everyone would have got before they rest yeah with my master's vigor i'll be good in just a few hours two okay so everybody what's your, <laughs> what's your, your what's your heal skill zero okay so oh. you all get two hp back and you get a okay. system strain yep yeah and then you guys sleep and then you guys can go ahead and roll your hit dice and then you can lose that system strain that you just took that's that's, right. that's not correct, hey. Ashley. You are oh, not. Really? You're not. Uh, I think it lets you do? right off your oh, character sheet. Okay. I don't know what I did. Oh. Uh, oh, I, I that happened last time you tried to. Why did it do it three times? I don't know why. Uh, Burdock, you get two back. Vice, you get six back. Uh, what do you got, Octavia? And my hit dice is just supposed to be 3d6 plus 6. I have no idea why this <laughs> what is three times. I don't, I don't know. Just roll 3d6 and just okay. do, it. do your thing. Vice, did you only wanted to do like the one hit die? Like you can roll, I think you can roll all. Oh, that gives me an axe anyways. So okay. okay. All right. So. Sonenka. Yeah. I sort of consider you, and maybe I'm wrong to think this, is something of like the most scouty type person of the group. Is that fair? Yes, I am a carter, so I've done yeah. a decent amount of travel. Sometime during the night, um, as you all are sleeping, you hear sounds uh, coming from up on the ridge to the south. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit uh, on the main screen here. So that people can see we can get rid of we can get rid of most of these uh because the it's the wheel token that is basically the party token now all right so you guys are camping out right around there by the shore but you see up on the ridge to the south where you saw the the trees the verdant kind of ridge mm -hmm. of trees which is again very strange because 
it's green is not a color frequently seen in the waste districts or in in big husk unless you happen to work on any of the farming platforms and there is apparently a lush forest on the ridge line to the south and you can see because it's elevated a couple miles to the south and you can see that there's like this burst of fire like almost like a firework that just erupts out of this uh, out of like the the forest itself and it's almost like a fireball just kind of erupts into the sky and then kind of like fizzles out a little bit at one point and then shortly thereafter you just kind of see this very kind of orange and purple smoke just kind of hovering in a haze above the trees uh soninka will wake up the rest of the party okay we'll call it you know three o'clock four o'clock in the morning actually no not that late probably one o'clock in the morning you all get woken up what is it are we being attacked uh i don't not quite sure what's going on in that uh forest over there but i saw a bit of fire and some smoke that's where she's like we're not being attacked but you are <laughs> <I> just <snapped laughs> it uh you yeah you point off in vice you can't see the explosion anymore but you can see this like orange it's very faint as she points your eyes have to adjust a little bit but you can see this very faint orange and purple haze uh, above and around the trees uh, on the ridge line to the south. So it was pretty far away. Sorry, pretty sorry. far away? Um, a little bit of yeah. distance. Sorry, I didn't realize you were asking me the question. I thought you were talking to each other. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a couple miles away. I'll check it out. Maybe it's some sort of signal. Yeah, I think it's worth just seeing if we uh, might have some other folks here with us. So let's uh, pack up and go check it out. Okay. Do you want to leave now or do you want to wait until morning? Just leave now or wait. It's I it's late push. at night. Yeah, it's like just to make sure we're not going to get ambushed. Are we leaving the cart and? Uh... The cart and stuff was like they had put it in a safe cave off to the west. You guys remember you guys traveled like a whole day to the east to get away, and you couldn't take the cart with you because of how rocky the terrain was. Okay, cool. Yeah. And yeah, let's let's go through both lines, I guess. Do some recon. Okay. So, in the middle of the night, you start moving in that direction. Um. So you can either just in the case of like moving, you can either kind of go back one hex the way you came into like this sort of greenish one or you can kind of go off into a new one because the one you're trying to get to is the ones that actually have like the vegetation on it do you have a preference i'll just go back the way we came it's really familiar okay so you move back and i'm gonna put up uh savage senses so i'm gonna commit the effort so that i can see even in pitch blackness okay do a little roll. Okay. Um, roll a notice whiz, Senenka. That's a 10. It's a really good roll. So I put up Savage Senses. Yeah, it's a really good roll. You see that there is almost like a path carved into the side of the ridge leading up the ridge line towards where those those trees are above. I'll kind of point down to everyone and just kind of whisper, this seems to be well-traveled. More likely that we are not alone here. Octavia's tired, so she's just like, yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay. Uh, just ready a dagger. All right. Okay. You, you guys go, do you go up the path? Yes. Yeah, we can follow it. Okay. I just don't like doing stuff unless you guys say to. 
So you guys Sorry, go? Yeah, I thought we were, we were uh, checking that. Still. Yeah, I just want to make sure. All right, so you guys move up the path, and eventually you get to the top of the ridge, and you can smell like a, a kind of a, 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 a scent that maybe some of you haven't smelled in quite some time, or maybe even ever in the case of like possibly Octavia. The smell of like of trees as like there's this this evergreen type scent that begins to fill your nostrils uh, and you take a couple steps and you can see that there's like this black grass that you're walking on you look down it's like cr- crunching beneath your feet you see these little flowers here and there blooming at the base of these tall trees you look at the trunks the trunks are like pitch black and the branches are like pitch black but the there's greenery that's sprouting from them in places here and there. But you see that there's, again, like a path. Like you can see in between where this black grass is, you can see that there is a traveled path that seems to be leading further and deeper into this forest. I look at closely at that black grass. Is it like because it's burnt or is it? Sure. Like uh yeah, you look closer. Uh, roll a, a no, I would say int or something like that, or or you could do a survival whiz, anything like that. Would probably whatever you feel. Eleven. Like. You reach down to touch it, and it feels you're old enough, probably, uh, and you might have seen grass at some point, or maybe you've 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 left Big Husk at some point. Grass does exist ever elsewhere, and you guys have passed by some like mossy areas, but this is like a kind of a different kind of texture to it. Um. But you reach down and it seems healthy. It doesn't seem burnt. It doesn't break in your hands, but it seems healthy. It's just the color of the blades. Um, maybe you pick up, you kind of grab a little bit, pocket it, give it to your horticulturalist friend back in Husk. All right. Okay, move along. Yeah, it doesn't look poisonous or anything like that. You don't see anything about it. It's interesting though. It's very curious. What about the flowers? Uh, yeah, and I'll say I'll extend it over to the flowers, and like they have a very fragranted smell to them. Uh, when you're looking around, you actually can see that there's little bugs that are disappearing into the into the blades of the grass, coming off the petals here and there. A couple of them quickly fly away as if you've disturbed them. Uh, can we pick a couple of flowers to take with us? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, vertical. Pull a few. Hmm. Stick them in the bottom of his hat. <laughs> okay. So yeah, do you continue? Yes. All right. After about maybe half an hour traveling down this path, and it's not like it's not a road, but I, I, it is very clearly a path. And periodically, you can see along the, the side of this path, rocks have been stacked up here and there in sort of a way that is clearly not natural. It's like one on top of the other on top of the other. And eventually, Sonenka, with your with your savage senses, you can see what looks like hovels, buildings, like mm. ramshackle homes that have been built within what looks like a clearing inside of this forest. So she'll kind of turn back around to everyone and just kind of quietly say with a bit of surprise, like, folks live here. Might not want to get too close for outsiders to them. Just trying to find out where that light came from. Yeah, the last time we saw people, we got attacked by the moon gorillas. Oh, and I, and I will say, you do actually see that orange and purple haze just sort of still lingering in the air above these homes. You can see that. if you, I would say, Sonica, you're, you, you can see further enough that there is some kind of circular sort of trench or um, like depression in the middle okay. of these, 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 uh, these tents and things. You don't see anybody, though. It certainly smells better out here than it does. It smells wonderful. Um, do I see any signs of like life other than like the hovels? Uh, roll a notice, whiz. 
And you don't have like dark vision effectively, do you? Uh, no. Okay. Could I maybe do like a survival check? Sure. Ten. You have seen along the path signs of footprints. Uh, nothing extraordinarily recent that you can tell for sure. But yeah, it, it you can see at least within the past couple of days or so, there's been travel along these paths. You're confident of that. Um, and you can tell what looks like campfires have been set up outside of some of these hovels here and there. Uh, none of them seem to be roaring currently, though. Can I tell which way, like, of the set has been going? Like, are they leading out towards we were, or it's just like a back and a forth thing, just sort of reinforcing? Like in the camp. Yeah, it just it's just re- you guys aren't in the camp yet, but like you guys are like yeah. all, you can see it in the distance, maybe you know fifty yards away, but you can see the comings and goings of people. You, you basically you're looking for signs of life, and you have them. Like, there's definitely people coming okay. and going. From yeah, there. yeah, yeah. But at the moment, we don't see any figures moving about. None can whatsoever. I... It's also like three o'clock in the morning. That's true. But there was recently a explosion fire of some sort so there's also that Mm -hmm. but it could be something normal that they're used to yeah there's only about like six of these buildings that you can see these little tents doesn't appear to put us in any immediate danger tonight do we want to encroach on their area or do we want to continue our rest and maybe come back in the daylight we can maybe track back make camp uh uh like set up a watch and uh like far enough back where we can use like the um spyglass yeah i certainly don't want to surprise them might upset them was the light lingering or is it just a one time it's like a little hay well like the explosion that she saw happened just once but now there's just been this like this very faint purple and kind of orange haze it was it's which has been dissipating over time but you can still see it kind of lingering above in this clearing but it seems located in an area that's designated for fire it's not like a home was on fire uh i mean like it's in like a trench area no it's just a covering over the whole clearing but yeah you could probably conclude that like maybe the something in the trench is the responsible for it okay as you guys are lingering you guys hear a like these three very small kind of explosions like little erupt behind you and you can see scattered about the trees behind you the way you came you see what looks like these little fumes of purple and orange just sort of dancing up lighting up some of those black trees here and there i'll run back to them to see if someone lit them up somehow okay so you run back and you can see that like stabbed into the ground you can see there's some kind of like stone pestle from like a, like a mortar pestle type of thing. And that's where like this stuff is fuming out of. It's like been half buried into the ground. Um, roll a notice whiz. Uh, 8. Okay. You see a freshly disturbed ground around this place as if someone was literally just here moments ago. Try and track those footprints. With an eight, that's you kind of move around, you look, and it kind of they sort of dissipate into that thicker black grass. Uh can Seneca look at a different one? Yeah, you so go, there were three, right? You go running up. To a different one. And they're all like probably about, you know, 20 yards from each other. So you go run up. Roll notice whiz. 14. Okay. You're looking around and you see the same basic thing. And as you're looking, you're following the 
footprints a little bit and you can see they kind of lead up to the trunk of a tree as your eyes kind of crawl up you look up you can see somebody is on the limb of a tree aiming something at you and goes and this happens everywhere else but sonica with a 14 you notice this roll an evasion okay um what is evasion raging save evasion save oh as the rest of you as you're looking you're just kind of looking around all of a sudden and Sonic, you try to dive out of the way. All of you are drenched with some kind of heavy netting. Oh, as no. from above, you're just weighed down underneath it. You're trying to push up against this, like, some kind of fabric that's been weighted down by stone. And you can see from the trees all around you, scrambling down, are about a dozen different figures, bipedal. They all kind of look, from what you can tell, like, scaly in some way. You can't quite pinned down specifically they look humanoid but they're carrying weaponry their skin is kind of shifting in color here and there so it kind of was like like kind of blending in almost chameleon like into the uh into the the actual trunks of the the trees but they were black and they hop down and they're kind of like walking around you and they're holding these like these spears looking down at you when you're looking at them though the spears themselves like they they have this weird juxtaposition of like old school technology, right? Like like you see just like a wooden black a black wooden sh- shaft, but you see this like metal refined steel head, and then there's some kind of light that's been affixed to the spearhead as they hold it kind of down to you. All of you who are now caught in these nets, and you can see emerging from that little orb of light at the spearhead is like this bluish scanning device that just goes it just scans over top all of you guess doing anything at this point uh what does the net appear constructed out of is it, uh... looks like it looks like some kind of heavy duty hemp or rope and then there's what looks just like really heavy heavy black stones that have been attached to it i think um without making too much of a ruckus Bordaka is going to try to slip that dagger he took off the guy cab yeah uh, out of his belt start to saw some of the bedding okay like maybe under his body where they can't see i'll say do like a do a sneak test uh with either strength or dex to see if you can get it done without them seeing you i want to use uh effort for the thousand tongues okay which will let me speak and be able to understand pretty much if they're sentient okay um, like, what's the meaning of this? Uh, and so you start going through like a different a couple different voices here and there, like different tongues that you might know. They start to talk to one another. Like they can, it's like this this like bumbling sound with like a click that every comes up in it, and like you can hear this weird kind of sort of slurring that comes out of it as well. And you continue to sort of focus and focus on it until you finally start speaking in their language. Do you also hear? Can you can interpret yeah, what they I say? I can speak and understand any sentient creature with the language of their own. So it's like, yes, well, what are the meaning of these? We, these two here, these two have been touched, take them. The others you can kill. And so you hear them say this, and as they do, they start dragging your net away and Octavia's net, and the rest are closing in on Sunenka and Burdock with spears drawn. Yeah, I'll let them know I'm not friendly towards them. So try and break out of whatever I'm in. Okay, how would you like to try to break out of it? I'll start cutting at the knitting. It's like, no, wait, wait, wait. You can't kill them. And I'll just start cutting out. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. Can't, can't, can't. Okay, yeah, yeah. And they look down at you, kind of. Ah, this one knows uh, uh, witchcraft. And then um, you can see one of them like approaches you, flips the spear, and then they're just going to swing down at you with the back of their staff. Um. So I would like to commit effort to change form. Okay. And I am going to. 
both get Savage Talons and Warform. So I'm just going to rapidly get larger <laughs> and, and sharp and hopefully like kind of clumsily, like, I don't know, maybe my elbows get like a big old spike and I just kind of like rip the thing open. <laughs> and because um, I noticed that they're going for Senenka and uh, no, that. I got to I got to watch out for for my BFF. OK. Uh, all right. So go ahead. So you've committed effort. You don't have a roll or anything you got to do, right? Not to commit effort, no. Okay. Okay. It's just my um, main action to, to do it. Uh, all right. So you start shifting. Uh, Burdock, you're cutting through the ropes. Vice, you have tried to communicate with them. Sonenka, did you give me an action that you're doing? I will probably um, also use a dagger and try to cut through the ropes. Okay, um, and you do you not you don't care about stealthiness at this point, do you? Uh, no. There's multiple ones that are enclosing around you right now with spears. Uh, Vice, one of them tries to hit you with the blunt side of the staff, uh, so that's going to be uh, a miss. But there will be shock damage. Uh, two points of shock damage against AC 15. So take mm. two points of damage as they just take you poof, right into the face. Uh, Sonenka, um, you're cutting, you're cutting, you're cutting, Burdock, you're doing the same thing. Um, Octavia, you're getting dragged away, but then you, and you start morphing and you hear them just start screaming and screeching at one another. Um, I'll tell you what, roll and exert strength, Octavia, to see if you just like, just the f sheer force of your shift is enough to rip through the net. Yes. And I'm going to say DC 10 for this. This is not easy. Oh. This, this... No. Okay. <laughs> you stand up whoosh, and there's like these slight tears here and there, but it's still mostly intact. Burdock, you managed without them even noticing to cut through a little bit. Oh, we got a couple of rerolls here uh, from Captain Karayan. Uh, so we got three. Keep oh. that in mind. Burdock, can you actually, sorry, I was going to say, can Ashley use one of those from the net? Or? Yeah, if you wanted to use it, go ahead, Ashley. If you wanted to, it's a DC 10 to, to burst, like to literally burst free from this net. Uh, yeah, that would be fun flavor if I can do it. So let's try Absolutely. it. Absolutely. 13. Yay. Whoosh, Yay. You just, Thank you. you completely shift as excellent use of those bits as you just rip through one of the one that's actually like kind of pulling you along. I'll say actually two are probably pulling you along. They immediately stumble backwards and fall down from the force of like the, the ropes ripping down and they look back Duh! and they're like, you, you don't understand what they're saying, but they're like speaking to one another. Burdock, one of them is coming up to stab you, but they haven't okay. noticed that you have freed a little bit of yourself. You have some movement. Uh, what do you yeah. want to do with that opportunity? Is there a chance to grab him? before he stabs me or yeah probably like, not like full on tackle but you could probably like reach out maybe like like grab his leg and like rip the leg out and make him fall or something yeah, like that that's yeah i'll bring him to the ground yeah so like we'll that. say yeah we'll say like uh we'll do like a like strength punch or something okay yeah just roll that check when you make this an attack we'll just make this a check dc8 eight it is you grab the leg pull nice. them out from under and they fall to go, and they fall down to the ground I'm going to um, try to, like, BJJ roll under him or something next time. Okay. Um, and then, Vice, do you, is there something you want to do? Yeah, I'm just going to shout out. It's, it's a misunderstanding. Just call off your men before somebody dies. This guy. Is probably it, trying to break out his net as well. Okay. Um, are you... Are you... Okay. I'll say this. Roll convince charisma... DC 10 to get them to pause. <laughs> I don't think you have good stats of that, do I don't you? even know if it's possible. I have to roll Ashley double sixes. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. They, uh, one of them, like, leans down and you're right down towards your face. And they hiss at you. And then they say, It's you that shall die. You 
Oh, have the ancients coursing through you. And then just sort of scrapes your face with a claw. So they're going to make an attack. Um, you can try rerolling if you want. We just got. That's true. Points. If you really want to go for it. It's a rough roll. Unlikely. Okay. So they're going to roll <laughs> AC 16. Two damage. I hear an echo because someone keep an eye on their 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 sound. If, if if you got your mic up, just make sure to mute when you're not talking. Two points of damage. Uh, as it's okay. they, they like they it's not that they're trying to hurt like trying to they're trying to to kill you. They just wanted to harm you, and so they just scraped you across your face. I want everyone at this point to roll a notice wisdom test. We now have three total reels. As when can we play? Just toss us another one. You guys are in a lot of trouble. Here. Keep track. <laughs> you guys yeah. are in a lot right, of trouble. Like... Here. There's like well, a dozen of for these. Investigating. There's a dozen of these. It's not so much that. It's uh, when Sunenka rolled her notice whiz, she rolled a very good roll. I, however, rolled double sixes and got a 13. So oh, they saw yeah. you guys first before Sunenka saw you, saw them. And so they were able to set this up. And then you guys kind of lingered and smelled the flowers and stuff like that. Gotcha. Octa- the lesson is we should mind our business. Octavia. <laughs> The roses. Octavia and Sonica, you notice something as you're like kind of staring at them. They look humans. They look like humans. They have these patchy things on them. Like they have like scales as if they've been attached here and there. And you can every every now and then you see like this coursing bit of electricity kind of arc between like one scale that's here and another scale that's there. And that causes that rippling effect. These aren't some like monsters. These are just She's just humans like that just have some weird tech that are allowing them to do this, allowing them to kind of camouflage themselves. So I think we're gonna have to go into initiative at this point. Um, Octavia, why don't you roll initiative for us? So I can just see if you guys go first. So roll your initiative. And don't forget your plus one for your. I that's a, I can't click on that button. Oh, just roll 2d6 plus. Uh, Let's see what you got. I think I get plus one for my racial bonus. Yeah, two to six. It's gonna be yeah, two to six plus one. Oh, I I just rolled two d sixes again. Jeez. Wow. See you guys. You could have done it. Oh no! <laughs> I rolled three. Wow. <laughs> I got I got two one. Oh, it might it might actually might just be a one. Either way, they go first. Okay. So this is how this is going to play out. There's 12 of them. Uh, Octavia, you've broken free from the netting. Burdock, you have cut the netting free and you have taken one to the ground. There's still, and I'm going to say there's 12 of them. Each one of you is surrounded by three. Like they've kind of spread out. There's three around all of you. They're going to go first. Sunenka, they've been ordered to kill you. So all three of them are just going to walk up and stab you with their spears. I'm so glad I have Master's Vigor, so I'm back up to full health. <laughs> All right. So they come up, and each one of them is going to make an attack. Two of them have small spears. One of them has, and each one of them in each group has one of those long spears with like the light at the end. So the two with this, the shorter spears. Uh, first one is an AC 21 that hits and does five damage. The second one is an AC 14. Was that Shit. good? No. Okay, so the second one misses, and then the third one... I have AC of 15. Well, the first one hits. It's AC, it hit an AC of 21. Oh, yeah, sorry. So five points of damage oh, for the first one. Yeah. And then five damage for the last one, who had, it hit an AC 16. You just took 10 points of damage. Oh as they're just, whoosh, whoosh, just stabbing away at you. That's bad. Okay. Um, I feel really bad about this, but I, did, I really did roll a 13 on my notice with, so they did get to see you first. I was really surprised you guys also came and investigated it at night. I was like, you're not going to wait till morning? Um, we wanted to make sure we no, were going to get ambushed. It's t- totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, then the next Still one. fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> Let's make sure we don't get ambushed by getting ambushed. <laughs> we walk to them so that they can ambush us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a bunch of happy little treats. Uh, okay. Over by Octavia. Um, I'm going to have... They're all going to make morale tests to see because you just burst into some sort of weird shifting creature in front of them. Yeah, and like I am like heaving and just. That's one success, two successes. 
all three of them You're succeeded on their morale <laughs> tests as they all <laughs> kind of look at you, but they each one of them flips the their spears around and they come at you with the blunt half as if they're not trying to kill you and they're just kind of beating you with them. So this is all going to be like non-lethal damage as they try to attack you. So there's that. On the other hand, 10 HP in uh, one round. Oh yeah, they don't care about here. you. Uh, okay, so first <laughs> attack hit an AC 17, so two points of damage. Yes, I take two. Second attack was a miss. Third attack, AC 14, that's no good, right? Okay, so the, so only the two damage hit. Vice, they do the same thing. Uh, they're not afraid of you, but they are going to do like the non-lethal damage to you. AC 11 misses. AC 21 hits two damage. And then finally, AC 23 with seven damage. Nine total damage to you, Vice. And then Burdock, one of them you've dra you've dragged to the ground. So they're yeah. gonna they're gonna spend their turn. Uh, I think they're gonna tried to like kind of break off from your your grip so uh roll a strength uh a strength punch to see and beat a 10. well we'll do my best let's see not pray punch here we go <laughs> i'm maybe praying yeah the <laughs> they're trying to like crawl away from you but you're yeah. just kind of pulling them closer like <laughs> and they're like they're their spears kind of thrown to the ground but you're like pulling them into like the i think netting. he's like yeah, I think he's like just dragging up his calf and his leg, like trying to use the guy as cover. <laughs> Two others come up and start stabbing you. Just try to get you off. 17. Freaking number. And 21. Hit. So six points of damage. damage between the two. So I had four hit points. No, no, you guys you guys healed up. <laughs> oh, all the way? Yeah. 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 I mean, you have oh, okay. so few hit mm -hmm. points. You should have been up all the way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Your guy's turn. Uh, Vice, you had you had said you were breaking the netting, Seneca as well. So both of you have kind of cut through the netting. Since you're not worrying about being stealthy about it, you just cut through the netting. No problem. Mm -hmm. uh, Burdock, you're, you've got the other guy kind mm -hmm. of grabbed up. And Octavia, they're hitting you at the back ends of their spears. What would you like to do? Are we so... prone or are we standing? Uh, you guys are prone. Uh, Octavia, you're standing because you did your whole yeah. thing. But the rest of you are prone. I want to take Blood of Boiling Rage. Okay. Sure. All right. So uh, for the rest of the scene, I can roll my attack and damage rolls twice and take the better result. Mm -hmm. Every round, however, I must either attack someone physically or try to reach them in order to attack them. If all foes are downed, allies will be targeted next. But I do have 12 foes. Yeah, so... it's target rich environment. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I feel like I this that'll is be a place problem. to use it. Um, and I am just, I want to slash at the nearest one to me with my claws, with my savage talons. Okay. Um, go right ahead. So, I'm gonna forget to roll twice. I did this to do a d20 to see if I hit. I'll tell you that they have an, they all have an AC of 14. It's the same AC, so it'll make it easier and faster. Oh, damn. Okay, I guess I don't hit. I wish that I need to make a button to just roll Savage Talons. Okay, uh, I can work on that for you. So you swing away. We do have we well, do have rerolls. Don't forget. Oh, I'm dumb. I have uh, Wisdom selected instead of Strength. For what? Or that doesn't affect anything. You just rolled Sorry. regular D20s. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm reading my other stuff. <laughs> Uh, we have rerolls uh, though. Yeah, I'll use a reroll. So you do your reroll. You burned your reroll. Roll them. Roll them again. Since you get to roll yours with advantage, go ahead. So I got a ten, but that's not enough, right? Uh, ten. What's your bonus? Uh, to hit. Oh, I have plus two to hit. So twelve. Twelve's not enough. Fourteen is what is your number? Does it include my strength? Because that's also a plus two. Because I have plus two for war form. Let me pull up your character sheet really quick. Because so. my strength is a plus two. Thank you for that bits while they're looking that up. So it adds your just I'm just, just rolling this to get an idea of it. Uh doo -doo 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 -doo. It, doesn't... it doesn't actively add my war form to the attacks. Yeah, I think it's a miss, Ashley. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I think it's a miss. Sorry, we'll have to. I'll have to 
dig into. I mean, you're going to roll a new character anyway, so it's no big deal. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? what? It's, it's your strength plus stab plus class to hit. So strength. What's your strength? My strength is 15. My bonus is two. Okay, so your bonus to strength is two plus your stab. What do you have in stab? Zero. Okay, so it's two plus zero plus what you rolled, which is a 10. So, yeah. So you, that's a 12. Yeah. Okay. And you get plus m- my two from Warform. So the Warform gives you plus two? It gives me plus two to hit. Then that gets you to a 14. That's a hit. Okay, cool. Yay. Thanks, Red Side, Best Side. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, roll your damage I for it. get to roll 1d8 plus strength. And I get, get twice. Five. Five points of damage? Five whole points? Five whole points. You claw right through this person. You walk right up. And you see like their whole chest just... That there's these three long, deep gashes right across, and they just go, yeah, and they just fall down to the ground as you, yeah, one shot them. Most impressive. Yes. All right, eleven v four. Yep. <laughs> uh, these don't have a ton of HP, but uh, there's a lot of them. Um, Neither do I. Okay, uh, so that yes, was Octavia. Same. Rest of you are on the ground. What do you guys want to do? Like, um, because I got out, the people that were stabbing me are they still in melee or? Oh yeah. Not, like, damn it. Well, no, you All just right. you just cut through the net, meaning you can stand up if you want. But you just cut. You were cutting through the net. Okay. Can I stand up and attack someone or? Yeah, it's fine. With is me. that too much movement? Yeah, it's fine. All right. Punchy punch. Yeah, you stand up and you try to punchy punch. AC fourteen. And we have uh, s- several rerolls. We have nine. Uh, someone can. Are keep... you freaking kidding me? Well, we I have cannot re-rolls. roll a d twenty to save my gosh. I can't girl. either. You can well, roll a d twenty. You just can't I roll just... well. Shittily. Roll again. You have a, You have uh, rerolls. There we go. Okay. Four points of damage. Let me check this one's each. Okay. You stand up and you thrust out with your your fist. You catch them right in the neck. <laughs> And you can just feel a crunch as their neck just kind of caves in on them. <coughs> eyes go wide. These big, bright blue eyes go wide. And they just kind of fall down into their knees. <coughs> and fall face first onto the ground. Vice or Burdock? There's ten left. Four. <laughs> Only ten? Go down. <laughs> Would you say the scene changed when we went to combat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would okay. say the scene changed. And I like to stand up and then commit my effort towards merciful healing instead so I can heal myself. Absolutely. That sounds fine. 2d6 plus 4. All right. What's that look okay. like? Uh, so the cuts and bruises they've caused me, I pretty much just bathe in my own blood and ask for the grace of the blood god. Like just, Simba? Just sort of smother it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> While this happens, you guys, all of you, notice that in the sky above you, one of, we haven't really talked too much about this, but the skies, there's not, there's like, there's scattered stars, but more so there's like moons and other like kind of broken celestial bodies kind of that are visible depending on the night. And you can see that one of them, this kind of, this sort of, almost like oblong like fractured moon suddenly glows red right as vice just starts to channel this merciful healing pulses red ever so slightly and then dissipates and all of you kind of kind of uh, vice especially probably you're not even phased by this happening but the rest of you just kind of catch that up you just see this and then goes away just imagine just for a moment the moon in our sky just ever so quickly blinking red and then going back to its normal color that's what just happened burdock i would totally want to use that be like do you see do you see that yeah you're, you're fighting us. Burdock. Is, uh, is the 
is the blood god accepting uh, new acolytes? <laughs> can we all we're in. To the blood god? We're in. That was pretty cool. Demonstrable evidence <laughs> of their existence. Yeah. Yep. Just rain some blood spears <laughs> down upon these guys, and we're good. You know. Uh, um, Octavia, Seneca, and Vice have all gone. Burdock, you're the last one to go. Yep. So I've got this one guy by the leg. I'm kind of dragging him. I think what, in a very cowardly fashion, I just want to like grapple him and roll onto my back. So if these other guys start stabbing me with spears, they're going to hit their buddy. Like oh, I'm just like, I love that. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, I'll say roll a strength exert. See if you can like hold okay. on and just roll them over. I love that. It's great, man. <laughs> Cowards, you know, you get to live another day, hopefully. Uh, yeah, exert. Let's do it. Oh man, not no, good. We've no six. Yeah, you can you can reroll. Six isn't bad, but okay. eight eight would um, be better. Yeah, for sure. Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty nitty gritty here. So, uh, yep, strength, strength. <laughs> okay. What I'll do is I'm gonna. Oh. What I'll do is I'm gonna say you're gonna get you're gonna get a, an AC bonus, uh, but it's not gonna be a full on. They're gonna stab their friend. It's just gonna be AC bonus when they go to attack you. That's all. That, okay. That's what I'll say. Okay. And it is now their turn to attack you. So, two of them will come up to attack uh, Burdock, um, and they'll stab away with their light spears. Um, I'll say take a plus three to your AC. So whatever your AC currently is, oh. add three to it as there's a body yes. that's kind of partially covering you. Uh, AC 19, then. You, they miss on the first. If any of them, like, natural one type stuff, I'll say they stab your that stab their friend, but otherwise, no. Uh, so, yeah, they stab away and they miss. The guy who you grabbed and have rolled under is will now try to break that, basically. Okay. And so you rolled a six. If they beat a six, I'm going to say they push off of you. Uh, okay. But that'll be their turn, and they do with a nine, so they kind of kind of scramble away from you. But no, you didn't get hit with anything. So I'm happy for him, honestly. Like, <laughs> you know. Uh, okay, the two over by Octavia. I'm gonna roll morale test as actually no, I already did that, didn't I? You did roll them once, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not after they they killed you. Killed one of them. Not after I killed someone though. Right. Right. So, success. Okay. <laughs> These are tough sons of bitches. Just making sure this is rolling correctly. Yeah, it's rolling correctly. Okay. Um, so they're going to lunge at you at this point uh, with their spears. One of them with a heavy, um, one of them with a light. But again, they're going, they're just trying, they're not trying to like, they're using the blunt ends against you and Vice for some reason. Uh, so one, uh, AC 19, and then two, AC 11. Uh, eight, uh, 19 hits. Yeah, you take eight points of damage as they take oh. this heavy, this heavy like black wooden shaft, and just baseball swing it into your temple. Uh, Sonenka, you managed to kill one as well, so I'm gonna roll some. Same thing. Why do I feel like these? Are, this is backwards. Okay, one of them fails. One of them will, uh, 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 and just start running at this point, back towards the village. The other one will stand next to Senenka and will attack. Oh, dear. Uh, and you're getting the pointy end. Uh, but a six will not work. Uh, do you have anything that blocks uh, shock damage? No. You take two points of shock damage as... I thought you... Oh, you don't have... You have die hard. Yeah, it's... Octavia and Burdock did have it. It's not Seneca. So, they, yeah, they, they lunge forward with their light spear, and they manage to... They don't, they don't get a direct blow, but they kind of get a glancing blow as they catch, like, the underside of your arm when they're going for your waist. Um, and then, so that's Sununka, Burdock, uh, Octavia, and then Vice. I'm going to have them, as you smother your face with blood and the sky suddenly glows red briefly, I'm going to make them roll morale test against you to see if they, one of them is freaking out. That should happen. I kind of feel like I should roll one too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of us. He's like, what's wrong with you guys? One of them's <laughs> uh, 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 and you hear you hear like him say something like like something or someone save us and then runs. 
Uh, and so there's now two by Vice and there's one by Sonica. And then the ones that remain Vice, they will poke at you uh, as well. Miss on the first. AC 12 is no good, right? Yeah, it's no good. Four points of shock damage, though, between the two. Uh, I don't know, 13 or lower, I believe. Oh, good catch. Thank you. I didn't even read that. Melissa, did you did you check that too? Um, What's your I think AC? yours were fifteen or lower, and mine. Oh no, you're right. No, AC thirteen or less. So you can you can take your take those HP back. Good catch, Perfect. Long. Uh, all right, that's their turns. Uh, so currently, as we stand, Octavia, you are you are flanked by two. Burdock, all three of them are still around you. One of them is kind of scrambling <laughs> away on their hands and knees. Vice, two of them still remain near you, while one just ran away. And Sonica, only one stands in front of you. I'm gonna punch him. Okay, go right ahead. I'm gonna punch him. Is it a falcon punch? That's what she said the first time she, like, Long need... came over to play board games. Like, hey, most of this is my friend Long. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> it's like when Ripley met Odin. It's just the oh, same. gosh. <laughs> She's like, this is my house. I don't care that you're 150 pounds you. high. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I'm gonna ride you like you're a horse. Yeah, it's fun. Ripley is uh, my dog, Boxer. Our other Logan friend, not this Logan, but different Logan, he has a uh, a, a giant bloodhound uh, oh, named Odin. Cool. And, and she uh, showed him whose house he yeah. was in. Uh, the yeah. size of a miniature it's pony. Great. It's great. He'll, uh, he'll, gonna... he'll break your face if you just, oh, God, his head is so, so, <laughs> so happy <laughs> to see you. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. See if that works. That's fine. 15? 15 is enough to hit. It's AC 14. Uh, five points of damage is enough as you take the second one out. It worked so well the first time you do the exact same thing. You just kind of like boom, this rapid fire punched like right under the right under the chin. And you can just. <gasps> kind How of, many are left in this area now? You rip it out. Uh, you're you're clear. You've, you've taken care of yours. You can leave. You're fine. Um, I just go. So if you got rid of your last one, there's seven. Uh, Vice has two around him. Burdock has still got three around him, and Octavia has two. Looks like I'm winning at the enemy game. Guys. <laughs> Take a blow to the head right here, I think. So, Vice, Burdock, or Octavia, what do you want to do in this case? I'll see if I can make it one around me. So I'll just swing my sword across his chest. Okay. And oh no! Just... You want to reroll? I can reroll. Yeah, we've got we've got plenty from the. From Captain Karine and from Tools to Twitch. From when can we play? Four damage. Did you just use one? Yeah. We're down to five. You're down to five? Okay. Four is still enough. Gosh, this one had, this one had one HP. They only have one D6 for their health, and so this one only has a one. But yeah, uh, you just take the bone sword and just slash really quickly, and you see they just a splurting of red blood just uh, as it grips out from their chest, kind of covering you, and uh, they fall. All right. Um, so, Vice, you're down to one. Uh, Octavia or Burdock? I want to go last if that's cool. Yeah, yeah it's fine. that's fine. Uh, I want to hit the guy who hit me really hard. Okay, the one with the heavy uh, the heavy spear. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, no. At least I can reroll again. Down to four. Don't you attack twice? No, this is your... my. I attack twice. I, I can. Attack oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's right. Thing. Okay. So uh, that's they still don't not hit, good. Though. Now, do you want to reroll? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll use you that. can burn through him. That's fine. We're off next week, so we'll we'll, we'll, we'll use him. Twenty-four. Uh, okay. What's damage? Uh, damage is. Swear to me. I was thinking. I was like, bow to me. That oh, doesn't quite two. seem right. Two points is not enough to take them out. Unfortunately, because they still stand in front of you. Did um, you use a reroll? She did. Okay. Damage uh, was low. To hit. Yeah. Burdock. Three oh. are around you. One is scrambling away, like kind of yeah. trying to regain their footing, but the other two are poised with spears ready. Okay. A couple of quick questions. Okay. <laughs> I'm still new to this is there like a total defense kind of action where you bob and weave and are hard yes. to hit? There is, in there fact, is. it's called... Total me. defense. What's his is it just called total defense? Uh, yes. It consumes your main action for the round, so plus you must two. have that available. Immune to shock damage for the round, mm -hmm. including from Swarm, plus two to armor class until your next turn. Okay, I think he's just going to, like, draw his fists up. And he's mm -hmm. got, like, all this kind of, like, thick scale on his arms, too. And then he's got, like, like 
kind of sharp little burrs or like whiskers kind of here and there. Mm-hmm. And he's just going to like turtle up. Be like, all right, let's get this done. The other, uh, the other <laughs> thing. Focus on that. Oh, that sounds great. The other thing is don't forget this might come in handy at some point. There's the screen mm-hmm. ally move action that you all can take at some point. There's snap attacks that we often forget about. So like those are ways of attacking before somebody gets to attack you uh-huh. at a lower penalty. So those are things to consider. Like there's a few other extra actions that we don't really dive into too much. Uh, okay. So they're going to then attack Burdock. Uh, so you have your plus two to AC and 23 is still going to be good enough though. Oh. Damn it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, okay, six points of damage. I had two left. Oh, no. Burdock, you guys look over. <laughs> Soneka, as easy as for you to see it as you have taken out all of yours. You've done your homework. You look over, and you're getting ready to move, and you see one of them just takes the spear right into Burdock's belly. <clears throat> it just kind of, he, he, like, he manages to block the spear of one with his arms, but the second one, as he lifts his arms to block it, gets right underneath and gets him in the gullet. Um... And Burdock right, is now bleeding out. Six rounds. Okay, six rounds. Or additional damage. So it depends on if the other ones. Other one missed. Okay. Okay. Uh, then over by Vice, one of them will again attempt to take you out. A- uh, AC 19, four points of damage towards Vice. Octavia. Um, That's a miss on the first with the AC five, miss on the second with an AC eight. So now you're down, uh, you're down all of yours, and it's back around to your guys' turn. I was like, wait, I'm down. Yeah, sorry, I just decided <laughs> GM Fiat, an NPC <laughs> called GM Fiat, just took you down. I'm attack the last one standing by me. Yeah, go right ahead. Fourteen for five damage. Fourteen is exactly enough, and five damage nice. will be enough to Ooh. kill this one. None of them rolled six HP. It's very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them rolled one HP, though. Very nice. Can I charge and attack one of them that's by uh, Burdock? Oh, please do. Absolutely. So it takes up both your move and your action. You charge in. You're going to have lower AC on your turn, but you do get plus two to your attack on this turn. This may end up being a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway. So that's a two. And Vice, you still have movement, too, if you wanted to move. Oh, yeah, I want to move closer. Oh, yeah, that's a one shot. Okay, do you want to move towards Burdock? Do you want to move towards Octavia? Towards Burdock. Okay, so you're you're running towards you watch as Sonica charges in and just like just like kind of sails forward with like a Superman punch and just takes one of them out as they go sprawling off to the side. Uh but you can tell just from looking at it, like looking at Burdock looks in a bad way. He's not moving. He's just kind of on the ground, his big wound in his stomach. Um Octavia. Two around you. One of them you've you've harmed. Unbelievable. I believe that's a miss, Ashley. Thirteen. Two plus. Thirteen's <laughs> on both of them. Oh, oh man. Free roll. Um, oh. Can I? Yeah. Normally we do one per scene, but because we're off next week, let's. Sh- Let's use them because we'll we'll probably forget about how many we have in two weeks. I, it just oh doesn't God. want me. To oh my god! Just gosh. wants me to die. This is wow. why they're not running away from you because you're not super goaty. Uh, this is oh. called this super goaty, taking oh, the name no. away from you. You're not allowed to have that name anymore. Okay. Disrespected. All right, over by Burdock, there are still two. One of them just died a horrible death. I'm gonna have them roll to see yeah, if they run did. away. One of them will run. One will stay. We'll turn towards Sonenka, who just charged in. Oh, crap. And we'll attempt to... Well, actually, Vice is here, too. I'm sorry. I'll roll the d6. One to three, Sonenka. Four to six, Vice. It'll oh, be Sonenka crap. as they thrust a spear at you. And this is, again, the pointy end. Nine AC Doesn't will it. miss, even with your minus two AC. Correct. Okay. Uh, however, you don't have anything that prevents you from taking shock damage. But I have a higher... Oh, no. Your Darn AC it. is what? 13. What did... And that's enough to take shock damage now. Damn it. So you will take two points of shock damage. Still up. All right. Over by Octavia, they're not impressed by you in the least 
as they swing. And That's a no. First is a miss. Second AC, 16? 16. That is my AC, yeah. And they, so seven. Seven oh, points no. of damage as they swing around and conk you right in your temple on the other side. They're trying to, like, oh. knock you out, it seems. Yeah, yeah. Your I guys' turn. HP. There's only three left. Burdock, however, is down to five rounds. Um, is there still one? There's one by Burdock, me? and there's two by Octavia. Vice right, and Sonic. So I'll God. do the You're other right one by Burdock so that Vice can focus on healing. Oh, okay. I like the confidence. Here we go. Got she three re she just called. You can only use it once on a roll. <laughs> you know, you can't use three of them on the same roll. Yeah, yeah. You just throw them out there. This is the Wild West, Melissa. Civilized society. <laughs> There's now two rerolls left as you're going to go ahead. I mean, and it kind of is the Wild West. <laughs> kind of is the Wild West, you're right. <laughs> All right, go ahead and do your reroll. 19. AC 19. Uh, but me, it's only three damage. Let me check the damage. This one has five HP, so three damage is enough to take it down to two, but it's got your attention. I can finish it off while I'm here. Oh, I love the confidence. You got two rerolls left. It's got two HP left. We've got, we've got one reroll left. We might want to save one of those for those those heal tests on Burdock. I'm just saying. If there has to be someone left to do the healing. We'll take care of it real quick. Okay. Oh, no. Just kidding. Shock damage, though. Oh, that's true. How much? I think it's two. Four. That's four. That's enough oh, to kill it. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right. You swing, they dodge out of the way, and then you just like lift your arm back up backwards, and the pommel just catches them like right underneath the chin, and you can just hear a crack as their head goes back, and they just fall limp to the ground. I am surprised to say this, but Octavia loses. Everybody else is are taken care of. Octavia still has two. Lesser lesser, lesser Goaty is her new nickname. She's going to Lesser Goaty form. Octavia, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. One HP left. You've damaged one of them. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna die. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, to be fair, you guys got attacked. <laughs> you guys got ambushed by twelve of these. This is pretty impressive. That you guys are still like I didn't kill anybody. So and Fifteen. Yeah. What's your hits. What's your damage? You need to do two damage. I need to do yeah. That's enough. All right, you kill one of them. The heavy hitter, uh, heavy hitter. Yeah. Which one? Okay. I am going to say unequivocally, this one's the last one left. It looks around and it sees three of you are still standing. Many of its their friends are laying on the ground. They turn around and they run back to the village. On their turn. Well, smarter than a stormtrooper. There's always one that's like, yeah. I just saw a Jedi kill 30 guys. Yeah. But now you're facing me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got this. I, you're going down. <laughs> yeah. Once you guys started killing them, I started doing the morale oh. test. Some of them hung in there. But yeah, mm -hmm. it just got more and more difficult. Okay. Heal time. Heal time. As we're down to four rounds left, I believe, because we had two. Just get deep in those guts. Yeah, yeah, so would you say we're still the in the scene? Uh, yeah, basically. Why? Because I took blood of boiling rage. Oh no! <laughs> I'll tell you this: you She's can make a hit point, Octavia. You can make a choice. I know it's uh, well, actually. Why don't we roll this? Isn't a roll to end early if you want to? Uh, so what I have to do, so if the Berserker is left alone or wishes to end the rage prematurely, oh boy. they must spend a, a main action fighting the Fury and make a mental saving throw to end it. Okay. So On a failure, I must spend my next round raging before I can try okay. again. It's not your uh, turn. This is where we needed that last removal. It's not your turn. You just attacked. That was your turn. It ran yeah. away. comes back to your guy's turn. And obviously, I'm going to let them do their heal thing first, and then you can make your and see what happens. And then <laughs> after they raise Burdock up, you just run over and you just hack through. Him. <laughs> and he's I mean, frail, so he's dead have now. One HP right now, so. All right, so DC 10 because two rounds have passed. DC 10, two rounds have passed. Okay. Vice, I'm pull my bandages out. And uh, Karayan just gave us some extra in case we need them. Thank you, Karayan. Thank you. 
DC 10 to try to keep Burdock from bleeding in front of you and dying. Yeah. When, when we recap this, it's it was 12v4 12. plus nine rerolls. <laughs> it's still pretty good. They they didn't have any HP, but like a couple of them had heavy heavy spears, and those are decent weapons, actually. Yeah, I took a solid eight damage. At one pretty point. good. Pretty good. Okay. If you that, you do manage to keep Burdock from going to the to the giant to the great crane gorilla in the sky. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> to the to the giant dockyard in the sky. No, you're frail. The you can just move space. freight all day. It's great. So Burdock, if you go back to zero HP while you're frail, you automatically yeah. die. Yeah. So you guys nice. Know. I mean, you say it like that. Now it's a challenge. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stub your toe. So, Sunenka, what do you want to do on your turn? You look over and you see Octavia is just like, <sighs> kind of like frothing around a bit, like in a rage in her lesser goatee form. I am keeping my distance <laughs> from that. Okay. Um, can I do... Um, that thing that you said that we never do. Um, screen ally. Screen ally, yeah. Who are you screening, Burdock or Vice? Uh, yeah. Okay, you screen ally. So you just kind of, you see Octavia like thrashing around in this great rage. You just kind of stand in front of Burdock and I'll say Vice because he's bending down and helping Burdock. So okay. I'll say, we'll count it for both. Okay. Octavia, go ahead and try to withstand the rage. Oh, roll well. Can re-roll? You, you can re-roll the one. <laughs> and we are, okay. we are, I will you guys have been so saved by re-rolls yes, we tonight. Yes, we, we are very lucky that we've got. Oh, three. no. <laughs> we were not saved by the re-rolls. But you're not that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> See, you should have just knocked her out. Pop her. <laughs> All right. It's okay. She hasn't been hitting anything, so. That's oh, true. my. <laughs> Oh, it's that, true. Was... that could be what saves us. It was brutal. I do only have one HP. I'm going to pause it. Okay, I'm going to throw an idea out here. We can do a like a D100 roll or whatever. Like 50-50 okay. it. One half of that, you charge after Senka and you kill her. Or if you go above it, you charge after the running running villagers into the heart of the village. Do you want to do you want to take that? This is this is this is what they call, uh, and I'll and I'll give you like if you take this if you take this devil's bargain, I'll give you like a plus two on your rage check next time. I played Blaze in the Dark the other day, so I have the devil's okay. bargain stuck in my head. Blaze in the Dark is so good. Yeah. So what is my? I'm just rolling a d100. Do you want if you, if you take it, you don't have to. You can just choose to go attack Senenka. That's fine. Um, so the fail condition is Sanenka's dead or just attacked? No, the fail condition is is she run so if she fails, if she gets like fifty one or fifty one or above, she charges headlong into the village where <laughs> you don't know what's in there or how many people are in there. Just but you Anakin saw them running towards her. them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, when can we play? I love flashbacks. We used to play a game called Shinobagami, like way when we oh, first started, yeah. and there were flashbacks in that. It was one of my favorite mechanics. And now, I'm, now like we just started up a, a Blades in the Dark game on Thursdays on Garblag, and there's flashbacks. It's so exciting. So it's, Octavia, it's it's up to you. You if you if you if you take it when you make your next test, if you accept this coin flip, okay, on your next test you will get a plus two to your roll to withstand the rage. I mean, I'm down to try the coin flip. Okay. One to 50, you come at Sonenka, because I think that's the better option. What's your, right? what's your health at, Sonenka? I haven't really been hitting, though. Four. 51 or above, you charge headlong into the village. I'm, hope I'm hoping I charge into the village. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I mean no, I'm kind of but... hoping too. It's <laughs> into the Sand People Village. Just oh. Melissa, what do you think? I I'm cool either way. Okay, you charge at Senenka. <laughs> Go ahead and make your attack with plus three because you charged. <laughs> And your oh, and your and your Buffomian bonus gives you plus three instead of plus two. Thirteen AC, Senenka. 
Nope, um, never mind. You're hit because she gets to roll. That's right. She gets to roll the advantage. Twice. <laughs> roll your damage. Roll your damage. He's so happy, guys. Look how happy we made you. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Home. I'm trying to read the screen ally thing. Until your next turn, enemies who wish to make a melee ranged attack against the screen. Oh, the screen ally. They're going Sorry, after you. Mind. That's that's right. Okay. They're going after you. Oh, how much God. damage did you do? Uh, Oh, that's I a fair seven. point. Karayan raises a fair point. You could burn a reroll to see if you roll worse. We're I nearing the I... end, so we're down to two yeah. rerolls, and that's it. You we're got two more. One. We're down to one. one. We got one more left. We're almost done with the, the, this show tonight. Okay, okay. 11. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a miss. You come frothing in, you go to land, and like you bump into her, but she manages to brace herself and just kind of stumbles backwards. Vice is in the process of getting up from healing Burdock and kind of help braces her. And you kind of slash out with your claws, and Seneca just kind of leans back ever so slightly and just miss her. Like you kind of like nip like a little bit of like the like her her front tunic, and you see like a tiny little scratch, but it's totally superficial. And I smell Senenka's blood. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Vice and Senenka, what do you guys want to do? So what happens? Like, does it mean she keeps having to do the roll every round? So yeah. Next round, I can attempt it again. I want to give them an opportunity, if they want to, to attack yeah. Octavia. Do the two? Do either of you just want to attack Octavia and put her out of her misery? I would like <laughs> to. Stomp on her face. So grappling Jeff, like doesn't some... actually. I got. I got some. Issues with me. Uh, oh, I just just left the workout. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Do we need, do we need a couples there? I think. I think. I think we need to talk actually. <laughs> so grappling doesn't affect their ability to attack though. No. They can still attack you, but only unarmed. But since her unarmed is like giant goat talons. Yeah, my yeah. <laughs> I think her talons would still work in this case. Yeah. Oh, gosh, darn it. She looks terrible, by the way. Yeah. Like, Conquer over the head with a rock or something. <laughs> uh, I wish there was like the um, non lethal attack thing where you're just trying to. Like the Captain Kirk, like karate chop. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What am I going to use? I. Yeah, I'm just going to try to punch her out. <laughs> just knock her unconscious. Full riding puddle. Ryan wants you to hop on her shoulders and ride her around. If like it weren't for the, the damn claws, I would. Like that was my instinct was just to grapple her, and then I yeah, was just reminded of the uh, yeah. You can do uh, you could do non-lethal. That's what I was doing with my spear guys. Okay, yeah. Then I'm gonna just punch her and yeah. say it's non-lethal. Hopefully, punch her. Except if it's a natural twenty, then you just like you just punch her head clean off. Bouncing. <laughs> so your blade finish her, just fly across her to death. All right, roll your attack, uh, Sanenka. Gosh, freaking darn it. One left, I think, right? No. No, we're all out? All right. Yep. And she doesn't take shock damage. Uh, Vice, do, do you want to do the same thing? Yeah, I can do a non-lethal attack. Yeah, go ahead. We're going on the loose. Sweet, sweet the leg. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Wait, you have your AC reduction because you charged. What's your AC total right now? Minus two to your AC, your normal AC. What are you at right now, Ashley? Fourteen. So, okay, so yeah, it's still. That misses. would be, yeah. It still misses. Okay, roll your. Shock? Oh, she doesn't take shock damage. She, she doesn't take shock damage because oh. this is crazy. She's a bull in a china shop. It's going crazy. She's just talking. To... Okay, go ahead and roll it again. My mental save. Yeah, you get plus two on this. Don't forget because you took the bargain. Flipping past this. Plus two. Would you say, can I roll it twice because I can roll my attack twice? No, this is an attack. No. <laughs> what kind of bullshit are you trying to pull? Them? All right, I want you to 50-50 it. Uh, roll a D100. 1 to 50, it's Sunenka. 51 to 100, it's Vice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they're both standing in front of the, the burdock who's on the ground. I'll down. take some hits. You can split it by three. She'll nice. kill you. One oh, shot. She die. will one shot you. Uh, go ahead and attack uh, Senenka again. We're not friends anymore. Oh, <laughs> God. This is awful. Oh, That'll do. Roll your damage. You don't even roll the second attack. 
Oh. Yeah, now not... she rolls good. No, no. <laughs> yep. Tonetic is yep. down brutally. Yep. We're not friends anymore. Um, Vice, when you healed him, did he get? Did, did Burdock get HP back? One. So Burdock, you actually get a. If you wanted to make an attack, you can. But if you do, I'm saying you're putting yourself into harm's way, which is that, means is that for ten minutes of rest. Oh, it's after ten minutes. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if you did your magical stuff because I know your magical, oh. your magical. So I, do, I don't have an action then. Or? No, not yet. Okay. I would. Um, I would do it if I could. I would yeah. try something. Um, Vice, you can take another shot if you want. Yeah, I'll do another like the roll. Okay. Oh God. Oh, that's not enough. 14 hits. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, he... You're not charging. You're not charging this time. Oh. Well, that's doesn't fun. it? That doesn't last until end of the We survived the human no. spear it's guys. End of, it's end of your next turn. Your own <laughs> teammate is killing you here. Octavia. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Octavia. Would you please roll your mental save? It's the love of everything. We're, we're, really we're out of rerolls. Yes. Oh. No, she's the only one that goes back to Big Husk after this. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. It was just for the one. Oh, God. oh, oh you just got more. Oh, now you get the success, okay. right? As Kariah drops some more, he just, <laughs> just you, drops some after more. After you wound your, your uh, former roommate. So Octavia, you finally get your you shake it off, and you look, and there is Sonica on the ground claw wounds in her in her chest you're you're this close all you have to do is just take her out you wanted her family to begin with just take her out right now single white female her but no, no. i think it would be more along the lines of like i've i've smelled like uh as creepy as it is but like i smell sonenka and like we've co-inhabited for long enough like she's a familiar like her bo whatever okay and i recognize her and like so you're on the ground and I'm on full fours over top of you, and my mouth is open, ready to rip your throat open. But then suddenly I start heaving, and slowly I just, my I lose my mini goat form, and I go back to normal. Okay. And I just kind of flop on the ground next to you. Vice, you watch this, and I think you finally realize that she's calmed down. But now you have Sunenka. Yes, I have to tend her. Bleeding out to death in front of you. Oh, what's the DC? Uh, Sonenka, you... Uh, be eight. Yeah, it should just be eight. Cause yeah. It's, just, it's, just, uh, yeah nine, it's eight plus the number of rounds, and I went down. Yeah, because you spent your turn... You, you spent your turn attacking, so yeah. it'd be a new round. So yeah. Got That's it. good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Frail, again. You've got two wounded, frail people in Burdock and Sonenka. Vice, you're the only one who seems to be okay. Octavia looks like she's on the verge of dying, and you guys are not that far away from a village of people who you just killed like seven or eight of their their kind and they just ran back. You don't know if they're running back with more. What do you guys do? Are we capable of moving and stuff? Like the, after, those, 10 after 10 minutes, they're gonna, they can oh, carry shit. you. Each one of them can carry one of you. Yeah. We have to drag them out of here, Octavia. Okay. She's not touching me. <laughs> okay. You have no say in this, oh, right? Are you conscious? TP Kavia. That's good tool to each other. Oh, that is good. Okay. Oh, I'm getting terrible. That's great. That's a great thing. I like that one. Okay. I'm just going to roll something really quick. Don't worry about it. It's not important. Yeah. Totally yeah. not it's, scared. It's not whether or not they come chasing after you guys as you try to run away. Not that. It's, it's definitely as, not that. As they slowly try to run away, burdened by two bodies. <laughs> as you guys are. Octavia's got Burdock over her shoulder. Vice, you've got Sinenka over your shoulder. And you're like, <gasps> like running as fast as you can, like through this forest back towards the path that goes down to where you camped out. You get to the edge of that path and you see standing in the middle of the way is this young kid, maybe 10, 12 years old, hands kind of shaking, spear is out in front of them. And they say, Vaz. And then you can hear the crackling of the voice. What do you guys do? I'm sorry, this, the roll came up. You got the it got a one, so you got another encounter. But it's just this one kid. Just what do you do? Uh, what we'll, we'll just blow past him? Can we? Yeah, can we just run past him? Kids are okay. pretty easy to kill, right? You can just okay. You're just gonna try. <laughs> He's blocking the way down the ridge. You're just gonna push past him. 
Okay. Someone's getting stabbed. Yes. <laughs> like. Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna fifty fifty it. One to three is is vice. Uh, it is vice. They're going to take uh, a very. Uh, they don't have a bonus to their attack, so they're just gonna do. Can you imagine if he stabbed Octavia with one hit point? <laughs> she dropped. Yeah, you were either of us with one hit point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, Weiss is like, I've got three bodies to drag. <laughs> uh, DC 12 on Vice. Not good. How about uh, shock damage against AC 13? Uh-uh. Okay. So they, no. they stab out at you as you as you go past. And you can kind of feel like a dull hit as it kind of makes contact with you, but you can tell there wasn't enough shrink to kind of drive the blade anywhere. And you just keep going. And you can hear them shouting behind you. But they don't seem to be following. Do you guys go back to your camping spot? Or do you just kind of keep going back towards where your cart is, where the Nindarians left it? Probably um, to our cart, you think? Okay. Is All right. a ways? Or is it it is a ways. Yeah. With the stop and the rest for a bit. Okay. Do you, just, okay yeah. do you want to travel like a couple hexes just to be sure? Yeah, we can. All right. As well. I'm glad we want to get in a couple more random encounters just to make sure. <laughs> yeah. We're just hex over here. We have explored. Let's try that one. Yeah, seems good. Seems oh legit. my god, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Maybe like a charcoalodon or something. You know, I don't. Okay. Uh, so you guys get back down from the ridge and you start heading westward along the southern shore of the lake. As you're doing so. <laughs> I rolled another one. It's okay. Not all encounters are combat encounters. This one's, this one's different. Uh-huh. You guys, <laughs> it's still dark out. It's not yet dawn. But you see lights moving quickly in the sky, like these little blinking lights. As you guys are, are still hustling, you you know, some like I, th- I think at this point, both Senenka and Burdock, you've gotten your, your feet back underneath you, and you're probably moving yourselves. But you're still moving kind of slowly or frail. You guys watch overhead as you see a flying vessel of some kind. You can't see it all that well. You can just see lights just careen over top of you. And it's starting, it's like coming from what looks like the northeast off to the southwest. And you can just see it as it just passes by over top of you, smoke hurtling out of it. And you watch and you watch as like several miles over in the direction to the southwest where you're going you see a large explosion where some flying ship has crashed into the mountains. And uh, we'll go ahead and end there <laughs> and leave that down uh, as something that happened. And that'll be the end of our session for that, I think. Too bad it didn't hit that village, man. I'm telling you. Oh, boy. So. Oh, my goodness. You guys can take your XP. Uh, we'll start up there. Um we should say to everybody who's watching, uh, we are off next week. Uh, so hopefully we're going to pick back up uh, with more Worlds Without Number on the 24th. So two weeks, it's the goal. Um, so follow me on Twitter at lollygaggerco, and I usually announce our games up there uh, if you want to come check us out. Uh, let's see. Uh, Logan, where can they find your awesome artwork? Uh, well, I don't know about awesome. Uh, I don't have any of that, but they can find my artwork at instagram.com slash old man logan l-o-w-g-u-n like yeah. this stuff that we have is awesome yeah for sure exactly These tokens are pretty tokens. Rad. yeah it's yeah. amazing <laughs> yeah so uh other things we do here we play uh so lolly geiger stuff uh fridays we play delta green but we're off again next week um saturdays we do worlds without number monday just a couple days two days from now we're starting up chapter three of our alien campaign called cinders of heaven uh, it is a brand new chapter. It is a perfect time for people to jump in. If you've never watched any of our Alien games before, please jump in. Watch uh, brand new characters, brand new ship, brand new missions in the world that we've been kind of messing around with for a little while. Uh, and uh, maybe if you like it, you go back and you watch the previous two chapters that are over on our YouTube uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also, if you go over to our YouTube channel, you can catch uh, our Things from the Flood game, which just finished up this week. It's a 10-episode 10 episode, uh, 10 episode game. Uh, really, really fun. 1992 teenagers dealing with uh, kind of uh, mysterious uh, happenings in their desert town. Uh, so come check that out. 
Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Go check out our friends at Defenders of Cobalt. We play on their, on their channel a lot. Uh, you can catch me there on Wednesdays most of the time. Uh, I'm also on Tuesday as I'm over at Garblad Games and Thursdays uh, as we play Spectaculars and uh, and now Blades in the Dark. Uh, but we're off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raid somebody, uh, see who's up, and uh, throw us in the end screen. Just hang tight. We'll get you something else, something fun and interesting to watch, and uh, we'll see you next time. So Thank you, everybody. Thanks, for guys. Thank you so much for those bits and for saving everyone's life. That was hilarious. So. <laughs> Bye-bye.